believe. Uh, it's an ad saying if you send us a uh, like a spit sample, uh, we can analyze your DNA, uh, tell you things about yourself as well as like illnesses or issues you might have with your body. Uh, and he's like, that sounds ridiculous, but it's only five bucks. So he's like, all right, I'll, you know, I'll try. So it takes a spit swab and uh, sends it in. Two weeks later, he gets a reply in the mail. And it says, Dear John Doe, uh, you are a 40-year-old Caucasian male. Um, you have brown hair and brown eyes and a bad case of tennis elbow. And he's like, oh, my God, it describes you perfectly. And, Fuck, my elbow does really fucking hurt. Uh, how did they know that? So then he starts thinking, like, okay, I'm going to try it again. I'm going to send in my sample and I'll also send in a sample from the dog. So he sends in both samples. Two weeks later, he gets a response back. He says, Dear John Doe, you are a 40 year old male, brown hair, brown eyes, tennis elbow. Um, your dog is three and a half year old dash and pound uh, with uh, the early signs of back issues. And he's just like, no fucking way. So now he's thinking, like, if these guys are that good, now I'm going to fuck with it big time. So he spits in the tube, collects a sample from his dog, gets a sample from his wife, and gets a sample from his daughter. And then for good measure, jerks off into the tube and mails it in. <laughs> Jesus. Two weeks later, he gets a letter back. Dear John Doe, your wife is pregnant. It's not yours. Your uh, daughter has been sexually active and has an STD. Uh, your dog is, you know, three and a half year old dash and hound, blah, blah, blah. And you're never going to get rid of that tennis elbow if you don't quit jerking off. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's about. <laughs> Those really long jokes, though. I mean, you're supposed to make them even longer and like, fill them out a hell of a lot more. Yeah. yeah that's, that's hard to, like, crack off. To, like, unless it really has someone's attention. That's one of those old school, like, Playboy jokes, you know? Probably. <laughs> that, like, was, like, a page long or whatever. Or the column. Did you know the, uh... Oh, shit. What, what's your nationality? Nationality? Yeah. Check. Oh, American. I'm sorry, what's your, uh, ethnicity? Or your... Ethnicity? Well, white. European. Your heritage. <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, heritage. What, what, heritage. What's your ethno-European heritage, yeah, like? Specifically, Aryan. specifically what country? Her Aryan. Like, what's the majority country? Czechland. <laughs> Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. Well, you're, well, you're Germany, right? Mostly. Most on my German. dad's side. Okay. Uh, a lot of English and the whole But Isles. even then, like, that's only know? for like 200 years, you know? You were German, Germanic then. Did you, did, you know, that. did you know that the Czechoslovakians invented using a, uh, uh, a sheep's intestine as a condom? Mm hmm And then it was the Germans, a couple years later, that realized you could take it out of the sheep first. <laughs> nice. You're from sheep nice. fuckers. Uh, the Czechoslovakian people or Czech Republic now are fucking sluts, for sure. Well, let's go find out. They're on a lot of meth, and oh. they uh, and they, they make a lot of porn. Take you to get uh, hostled. There probably was plenty of hostels. I actually, I think there's still no, family the movie out hostel. There. There's a oh yeah, I remember. Okay, that's movie. what I'm saying. They're gonna draw you into the all right. <clears throat> they probably could. I've honestly always kind of wanted to visit. Um, I think it's like a David Cherney is like a famous artist out in Czechoslovakia. There's a lot of Chernies, though. Yeah. Let's be honest there's here. There's not. Yeah, there there are. is not. Fuck yeah, there, there is. Hey, How many? Are you related to Amanda Cherney? Because if you are, let's fucking get her on the phone. Oh, uh, probably distantly. <laughs> there's not that many. Yeah, there is, there especially out in more rural areas. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Shit, dude, we get out like near around Wayne and like even further north of Wayne, like around Valentine, even. There's a lot of Czech communities around there, and I see the name Cerny everywhere. Yeah, they, they pronounce it differently at different times. I'm pretty sure. You're from a farm in Skyler, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure, though, you know, like you just got your last name because you're like of a village you lived in, you know, back in the old country. And then everyone well, you... was probably related, somewhat related in that village, and moved, you know. Well, do you remember the. Do you remember the Skyler? Town motto or town uh, credo or whatever. No. Do you remember it at all? What? I think it was something like Scholar, Nebraska, where the men are men and the sheep are scared. <laughs> yeah, that could see that. That I, was probably that's probably more like Linwood. I just like motto. really like try to like try to make it like I'm actually thinking about one. 
Because you know, if you start out with the men or men, they're like, all right. And then they shoot them inside, you fuck sheep. But it's like kind of stuff that you say at a bar. That's the one that can get you beat up at a bar because you don't you think you're cool with somebody. And all of a sudden, they're like, what? I feel like that's just so like out of left field. You know, like, how often do you Have you ever looked up sheep? what the name Cherny means? Yeah, dickhead. It's, I think it means black, actually. It means butthole. I was going to be mean. Black? Yep. Shot is peddler. What's Radic? What? Peddler. Peddler? What's yeah. Peddler uh, name occupational name, like a peddler or someone who always has something to like sell. Huh. What's what's mine? What's mine? Oh, uh, I don't care. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> John. <laughs> John, uh, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank in your last name all of a sudden. Jesus. Just Reddick. Yes. One D. One D. I mean that that is a fucking big Reddick, thing. right? Not Red Riddick. R E D I C. Okay, that's yeah. what I got here. The biggest dick ever? Not it's so in the urban dick. dictionary. It's the first thing that pulls up. Uh-oh. Oh shit. What? Reddick <laughs> is to engage in sexual intercourse with your partner at least twice with the beginning of the second sexual encounter no later than 30 minutes. Oh, well, that's ridiculous. Redick. Redick. <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> So I'm like, cool, it's a sex thing, and it's not even a gross one either. Like the Omaha uh, Snowblow. Have you ever redicked? No. <laughs> not for like a trying. On my no, I'm fine. I was no. You can't redick though. No, I can't, definitely. It's just, uh, it's not, it was not mutually uh, agreed upon. With uh, two D's? Okay. No. Oh, okay. Or there's another, I think, more Germanic way of spelling it, which looks more like redick versus redick. Try it. I, mean, I mean, I'm sure, I, I, I uh, but it's a, it's a, like a pet name uh, for someone. It's ridiculous. That's like a, a counsel. Like you would seek counsel oh, from this German, person. It's a pet the, name for someone that's like that type of person. So like, in, go in to the Reddick. Or? Go to Reddick. That's what I'm saying. That's you would go to a Reddick. Go to your Reddick person. Huh. You know, right? Is that the way I'm I mean, I wouldn't go to him for counsel. Well, yeah, but like, well, well I mean, for some stuff. Yeah, like, well, okay. an, anal- oh, an analyst. Go. That's that's a good way to. What could you? What would you counsel people <laughs> that, on? That's a th- that's a good idea. You can ask John dirt, about he's engines. A dirt bike expert. Yeah, let's, exactly. How about this? How about maybe he's let, offered to teach us how to ride mo- motorbikes. Let's play a game here that's gonna hurt a lot of feelings. It's who Ooh, game, who would I who would game, I go game, for game, go game. to to be counsel on a certain subject? Okay, and who okay. you definitely wouldn't go to? Here, hang on, let's this look is, up oh a boy, this can be... random subject. Ge- oh my god, it exists! You have to put this random up. topic generator. All right, topics for I'm talking about like a anyone, topic. business, couples, fam- let's do families. Yeah, I'll take a generate topic. random topic. Well, often do you curse, and what's your go-to string of curse words? So if you wanted some counseling on oh, out of us three about to learn more curse words from, who would you talk to? John. John. <laughs> what about you, out of us two? Well, you kind of don't have a, the greatest grasp of John's like, language. I would talk to a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me flip my camera on my I phone. can make up some pretty good, fucking licious good words. <laughs> You just said you just broke the cut, man. Fucking delicious, Fucking man. Fucking delicious. Uh, oh, yeah, I'd probably go with Derek on that one. All right, that's because because I tried to make tried because, to make myself badass. Tom Randers, uh, self-defecation. <laughs> just because Derek can speak elegantly. You literally said elegantly. defecate on yourself. Not even. Not, I was talking not, about you. I asked if you I, self-defecated. I, I, <laughs> Self-defecated. <laughs> Even if, you were talking like yeah, badly but, about yourself. But, but so I was you trying, said, to, trying to say, but if you said self-deprecation, that's one thing because self-defecation, deprecation, hard to but self. But then you said defecate on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. You, you didn't say deprecate on yourself. The whole on yourself part, like huh? Ah. Yeah. Well, Where? Speaking of which, who had to walk more than twenty feet when you shit their socks? What? What? Nothing. Who walked 20 feet with shit in no, their socks? Have any of you guys ever had to walk more than 20 feet with shit in your socks? In your, in your socks. socks. From yourself that land, ended up in your How socks. How about upstairs? There. Wait, what? Did you have to run upstairs with shit in your socks? I think we've talked oh. about this when I jumped downstairs and tried to blow a big fart and just ended up shitting my pants. <laughs> just, and turned around and went to the bathroom and took a shower immediately. <laughs> immediately. And then you just hear like, Oh, fuck. D- <laughs> 
<laughs> you shit yourself? <laughs> yeah. Remember. Why? You got some on the stairs. Uh, I never. I never. <laughs> it was hilarious. I never shit bad enough for like it like runs into my socks. I guess I never had like the squirts. I don't. Yeah, I don't think that's ever happened uh, with but, pants on. But yeah, but in college, uh, we we're leaving. College, you were leaving. Uh, we're leaving. Uh, I leave the cafeteria in college like that, and my buddy threw over tie his shoes. So I'm like, <laughs> so I run over to go fart him. I just full on just bricked in my shorts. I mean, it wasn't even, it wasn't even like a wet fart. It was just like a regular poop. <laughs> it just I it was just like boom. I mean, it was, it was serious. It was just like a thump. Uh, and it felt weird because it's like it didn't feel like a splatter or anything. It felt like it just said like one second it's not there, boom. One second it's there, it's a like, boom. <laughs> You know, yeah, you, there must be. The, you the, didn't the, realize you shit yourself. No, I definitely realized I shit myself. But the fact that like it just happened so quick, I didn't feel like I had to poop. And that's the kind of you know situation where you were like that turd must have been really rounded at one end because it was such a fast poop. It didn't have time to taper, you know. Anyway, so I go, oh shit, oh I just shit my pants. He goes what? And he just takes off running. I go no 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 no. So I start trying to run after him. Oh, that's, and he tore that's Mr. Hanky apart. <laughs> The big shit. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of like running all like, you know. Like somebody that shit know? their pants and is holding a turd in their pocket. So, so because so the, the, prison the cafeteria to the recording studio was all in one. It was a straight shot from behind the building. Wouldn't you go home? And so he takes off because he's because people are in the studio. He's like, oh, yeah. he just run off. I go, what the fuck? I'm like, no, he's going. Do you shake like, it out your jean leg? No, no. I, I just I just ran with it all squatty. But you're running home or you're running after running him? Running after to the studio because there's a nice big bath in the studio. So, and I start running after him because I know he's going to tell everybody I just shit my pants. So I get in there. I, 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 I'm well behind him, obviously, because I can't really run very fast in general or with the loaded fucking shorts, right? So I get to the corner studio. No one's there. I go, thank fucking God no one's here. And I see him, like, look at me. And he looks out the door. And he's just, he bolts through the parking lot. I go, no, 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 no. So I'm doing it again down the hallway this time instead Jake. of going to the fucking bathroom. Why are you door, running so far with shit in your pants? Because I had to stop him from telling people I shit my pants. No, you clean yourself up immediately. Yeah. So then, so he runs outside. Tell people no matter what. He sees one of our... Uh, teachers going home in the parking lot and he sets he's on, the, on top of these steps full volume hey hey Mr. B and he's like what the fuck John shit his pants and I because I, I opened the door right as the tail end of shit his pants I'm like oh Christ and I look over and there's there's a teacher he looks at but my buddy looks at me and he just does like a like the, the eyes up like what the fuck head shake <laughs> yeah what are these guys like, doing they're these are we were his students. <laughs> Must have been so fucking proud. Did he ask that you about the next day in class? one of them shit his pants in public, and the other one yelled and walked, ran around screaming at somebody shit their pants. Impressive. Oh, community college there for, for a reason. All right, so yeah, back to who would you go to for counsel? Who would you go to to drink oh, yeah, whiskey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We planned this. Um, so those random subject who's, who's generators kind of not that awesome. Is anybody drinking whiskey? Send me. Uh, I will join you. Hey, we're drinking whiskey. I'm only getting. Okay. I want to get fat tongue. I have, I've had one beer. If you want oh, to talk to somebody, get counsel on a favorite girl group. Who would you talk? No, to? what do you consider a girl, girl group? group? Like, 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 like the band? Spice Girls. Oh. Or Shania Twain. Ooh. <laughs> or no, sorry, I'm thinking of Chicksy Dicks. Dicks. Oh, are you going on Dicks Friday? Dicks. Is that this Friday? What? It's tomorrow. Shania Twain. Wait. Uh, I didn't know she was around. Yeah. She the dad dad. Isn't that the free concert tomorrow? Is that that one? What are you talking about? Is it the song? Dan, 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 Let's soak up the dan, sun. Dan. Let's go, girls. Yeah, that one, yeah. Going out tonight. You know I think, is that next weekend or this weekend? Right. I don't know. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's tonight's one. Uh, uh, okay, girl groups. I want to soak up the sun. I thought that was Jillian Huff. I mean, I just Gonna named a whole bunch. That's Cheryl everyone. Crow. Sure. Oh, okay. That's not a female group. Wait, who's playing at the, the Pussycat Dolls? That's a concert. female group. Apparently, you guys are going to be picking me. I guess we are. Those Darlings. That's a mostly female them. group. Never them. Four they on, advertise four, four themselves as such. Four non blondes. That's not full female. I don't know. Wilson Phillips. And I said, hey, what? Who's Wilson hey, Phillips? Oh, they had that 80s song. Hey. Someday somebody's going to come oh, around, and make say, turn around and say goodbye. Uh, Till then, baby. Actually, shit, I'm going to go look that up now. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I found, okay, okay, okay. What's the latest? I'll, I'll go to Derek for Okay, yeah. I'll go Derek. I'm not going to pick sorry. Dan for, or John. I'm not Dan. You're I not never Dan. will I, be. I wouldn't pick Dan or John. 
So I'm just imagining Dan sitting over there. Asked, asked it. Like, I Dan know, would be man. like, "Would you go to me or John?" Dan would probably tell you some crazy punk girl group or something. Yeah. Have you ever heard of the periods? They're what the fuck? Strings are made of period braided pussy something hairs. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever hear the the Harry Potters? The ha- oh uh, no, uh, probably, but I don't. They, they literally just sang about the books. It was yeah. pretty awesome. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. One of my favorite bands from college was Arch Enemy, and the lead singer was a tall blonde chick, and they're all they're all from uh, Sweden. Or, they're all is it, a, is it a female she's, fronting? Yeah, a male she's, band. She's, she's yeah, male band. F- I wouldn't girl. call that a girl group. No, it's not. But it's no, just like no, it's cool. Girl. Like I'm like, oh, what girl group? Maybe do I if know? they were an '80s metal hair band, we might have a conversation. What, what consists of a girl group? Does, is a duo? Abba. Two, two girls Dude, consists of a girl group. Out. I think that makes a group. I just found this to, like mamas and papas. There was multiple girls. Women. Yeah, there was mamas and the papas. There's yeah, there was papas too, though. Yeah, but it balance. It was equal balance. Yeah. What? I found this. This is a girl girl fronted metalcore band that I've never like gave the time of day. Okay, turn it off. Oh, I'm gonna get demonetized. Yeah, I'm not even playing. I'm screaming over it. Anyway, uh, those bands well, like I don't he didn't know, even I tell me the name of that band. Spirit you like Box. Spirit Box. Yeah, and it's a it's a female fronted. Metalcore band. Have you, you like? I don't. Uh, maybe Dance Gavin Dance. I've never actually heard them. Have you but, ever uh, listened to Sugar? Sugar. Yeah. Love Sugar Sex I, Magic. I, no, I don't know. Bill Burr, bang, Bill Burr bang, was talking bang, about bang, it today. No. About on his podcast, it was interesting. Hmm. I never heard of it. Well, that. Random topic. Anyway, I I've been sleeping on them for like three years. I started listening to him like four days ago. I cannot stop listening to him. It's fucking amazing. Hmm. There you go. That's all. All right. Thank you. You are welcome. I, I I am always down to hear new music because honestly I feel like I don't listen to new music anymore. You know that that song America's Got Talent a nine year old went on and sang one of the songs ha- oh, that's like cool. screaming and Simon Cowell's like what the fuck ha- have oh, you ever heard that He's at awesome. a point in your thirties you stop <laughs> listening <laughs> to new music yeah like you you still listen to new music in your genres but you don't listen to new genres you know. Like you've set like your... like the chances of me switching to country. Hardcore, I was just thinking you know, I need to you know, take some yes. psychedelics and like just you know break the norm a little bit. Maybe listen to some new music and you don't have to have psychedelics. Yeah, I don't need that. that. You seem to yeah, like but it gets you more into this stuff like that sometimes. Okay. All right, I have a question. I need counseling on. Yeah, and I'm going to John for this one. Oh yeah. Would you rather smell like a fart all the time for the rest of your life, or drink a diarrhea milkshake? You're going to John to ask this question? Who else would I ask that question to? <clears throat> he what? just got done talking about running miles and shit okay, filled it bridges. Was like a quarter mile. So wait, you said <laughs> just goes up. Smell like a fart for the rest of your life all the time, or drink a shit. a diarrhea milkshake. Is there any money involved? What? How? Why? Is this a human centipede thing? Why? This is just one of those psychic. Whatever fucking question. I was saying, there's got to be stuff to it because one of they're both bad. Obviously, the diarrhea milkshake. Yeah. I mean, I don't like milk, so I don't think that'd work for me. I mean, it could just be a glass of diarrhea. Oh, okay. okay. I don't think um, I could do it if I tried. Drink diarrhea? Yeah. I don't think no, I could no, eat, let's, drink let's diarrhea. Let's assume there's going to be no health repercussions because that will most likely kill you. Because of all. Well, the and like unless it's, unless it's your diarrhea. How are you smelling like shit? Just it's like be your diarrhea. from your pores, you can't like. Go you just you'll just a sauna. Smell, you'll be the stinky guy. Oh, it's just like a fart farts? for the rest of your life like all the time. Farts? Maybe I would just go out and live I, out in the wilderness. I'd do the fart thing. a skunk ape. Yeah, they, yes, I would do the fart thing. Yeah, I could. <laughs> I could assume a new identity. As the smells of fart man. <laughs> and become the skunk ape. <laughs> the fart man that just travels the U.S. and everyone stays away from you. We were at a red light and the window was down because it was real hot out here. Well, I just, I smelt it. And there, I smelt it good. And there he was, the fart man. Hey. <laughs> Farts. Right, the family I, dog was upset. Yeah. Uh, he's, he he's just wanted some cash because he couldn't get a job because he smelled like fart. I, I gave him about a tree fitted. I could just walk into a town and just stand there and be like, you have to suffer with it unless you give me money. I am your god. I am. Feed me and I will move on. You know? <laughs> Like clear out that diner. Yeah. <laughs> or, or are you going to get shot? Oh, saloon. Yeah, yeah, good point. Get shot. Yeah, does, Most likely do, get do shot. you smell it? That's the question, That's, too. Well, do you, you, you get used you to it. You don't smell your own home after a while. You know? Yeah. Like, everyone's home smells unique, but you don't know what it smells like. Even you're then, you could, like, for, destroy your nose if you had oh, to. Oh, yeah. You, well, you could also, but you get used to it. That's the thing. Yeah, All right. you would. Who would you go to for something mechanical that needs work on? Who, who would you seek counsel? 
Who uh, is? Well, the Reddick. Uh, on a dirt bike, definitely. I'm not about anything mechanical in any general. Mecha- mechanical John, for sure. Mechanical John. That's Are you a robot it's mechanical it's John? Dick, call my dick mechanical John. Because uh, I have to blow it up. I got a pole started. I, do, <laughs> I, pole started. I thought we were calling you steak sauce. I do you need, need a new uh, nickname every week. <laughs> you just you need gave a me, Corona or something. You just gave me a nickname last week. No, and it did not stick. Another it. one? Well, last week with Ken. Or no, sorry, two steak weeks ago. Steak sauce. Yeah, that did not stick. Oh, man, I like that idea. Did you guys try it? Because you no, guys... like, he, he, he forgot. <laughs> yeah, I bet if you brought it up to him, he would remember. Yeah, apparently, uh, George got uh, is mad at me now because apparently I said something on the podcast about him. I don't remember at all. You, he listened to it or something? Uh, I guess. Cool, because he was. I'm trying to get him on for a while. Oh yeah, we were definitely. You were. You went off on a tangent about work people for sure. Yeah, I know. None of it's that. You know. Did you ever make John sign the th- disclosure thing and yeah, like, where you send warnings like, "Do not incriminate yourself. I, do not name others." I'm in your pretty stories. sure I did. Did I, you? You signed that, didn't you? I, I mean, Ken didn't, or I, no, other or, people haven't on. In yeah, a long no time. shit. Also, when you have that shitty grin. I know it's not a fucking thing. It doesn't exist. No, I definitely got a waiver. Well, I didn't sign it. You don't ever remember signing it? I don't think John ever signed a waiver. You're right. You're probably right because I got we got a bunch of people to sign it originally. Yeah, loose cannonball right now. And then never did anyone else with it. It was well, more dramatic well, than anyway, anything. There's nothing. I mean, at, at I most, I probably said he's a homophobe. That's probably what I said because I tell people. I mean, Ken? It's, it's, yeah. No, not Ken. No, no, <laughs> no not Ken. Well, I mean, George. Yeah. Bring George on. Let's have a well, I don't a, think he's, a, a I, battle. I like him. I don't think he's, capa- his, I don't think he's capable straight. of having conversation without getting mad. Because we brought up, like, we got brought up. Oh, we, we'd razz people. Because we brought up Roe v. Wade for, like, literally five minutes on, like, oh, you know, a while ago. The Roe v. Wade. For, like, five minutes at work. And he started getting, like, visibly upset. Was, oh, so you can't discuss this. Like, because you don't have a reason to have your opinion. And well, he knows it. So he just I, gets mad. It, I've seen that happen with people before. And I, I've. So you can't I, have rational discussion. I don't want to ever, like, press people like that. I always change the subject. Exactly. Like, not, yeah. we've had people on that I know are flat earthers. And I'm like, we'd, we'd like, dance around the subject. And I, you never just, like, would flat up and ask him. Because he, he told me, he was like, I will get defensive. And I don't want to, you know. So I was like, right. If you get defensive, you have, you know, not confident in your argument. Yeah, that is true. But anyway, it was also just like someone to the point have is, a conversation with. I was taking no again, stance in this you know? That's the thing. I wasn't even for or against. I was just hey, taking no stance in it because it, I, I was using it as an example of tricky subjects that I don't know how you're going to handle. And sure enough, you start tr- cracking. And it's like, I, I don't know. All right. Not being able to have a conversation without getting angry, I don't understand that at all. I just don't get it. It's, some people are incapable of having conversations i mean I d- can't, debate i guess is i can't imagine term. i mean I don't, I've, I've never pissed you off except for that no, i was dying never mind. i don't ever, if i ever have pissed you off i didn't know and, and when we discuss things so. i mean not like piss off but, but the point the point is though, if I you wanted like, to get counts from someone about how to piss someone off who would you go to oh lane <laughs> you wouldn't even have to talk to well, lane see, actually who, just, who hears just, Watch. <laughs> who here's a hit I can piss someone with off for sure. Fucking, I, I mean, he threw a dildo at his face or smacked him upside the head yeah, with I mean, it. Yeah. He tomahawked that fucking I, thing I guess, right in my face. And I think I, I threw a bottle cap at your face last week. You right? threw a beer bottle at my fucking face while I was sleeping about four years ago. Well, let's not forget, in our D&D game, I did try to pee on your face. Yeah, but I was also high on skill and so. In a prison cell. Did, he, I had to wake did you up. get him? No, I missed. No, he came to after having a moment with God, and like right at the moment he sat up, I my piss hit the ground where his face was. Wow, piss dodger. Uh, That's a new title. I don't know, uh, <laughs> but the point is, like, I piss like I can, I can have a conversation with you on sensitive subjects, and you will get mad oh, about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, I totally can disagree with people and just keep prodding them, you know. Um, but there, but there, there's a, a fundamental issue people don't understand is having. Being able to listen without getting angry, and, and the, like societally, that's not Active acceptable. That's listening, just, it's just not there anymore. Because I can listen to someone Crit- critical thinking. You know, I mean, it, it's God, listen, the listen, idea listen, you can't inter- listen. If you can't listen. If you, if you can't entertain, <laughs> he can't even listen. He's not listening. He's not, he he can't listen either. He can't. You're trying to call people out for not listening. You can't listen when Derek tells I you to listen. That's not at all what I said. <laughs> Why don't you fucking listen to what I said, you <laughs> asshole? Active listening. No. The point is, like I, like, I was raised with, you. if you can't argue the other side of your opinion, you have no entitlement to that opinion because you don't know That's true. the facts. Yeah, it's yeah. an it's a, it's a ignorant opinion, which most people have, that I've met at least. 
But again, I don't hang out with uh, fucking I, scholars. I remember, and I think this was, I don't know, man. I went, I went to a country school, so we like we did some weird things. I feel like sometimes, like we were, we like had like debate gl- groups or whatever, where we would like, uh, we taught a subject or whatever, and then you'd have to draw straws or not draw straws, but draw sides. Like you didn't get to pick your side that you mm-hmm. were on, mm-hmm. and then you had to d- debate yeah. your, your side or yeah. whatever. And That's- most of the time, it was like. I actually don't agree with this. And then the teacher would be like, yeah, but you got to have to learn actually to argue teaching, that side. So yeah. they're actually teaching critical thinking at a Dude, fuck high school? No, I didn't go to – well, no, that, that wasn't scared? high school. I, this, I It was my uh, K through 8 that I went Still, to. Still, that's even better. A grade school. It was, a, it was a country school. Where the men are men and the sheep are scared. Yeah. Okay. Just being sure. Well, I mean, no sheep. No sheep. Just oh. uh, no. pigs and cows. That's not true. We had sheep. I used to. I used to. Uh, oh, oh, kid, used to what? I used what? to as a kid. Fuck the sheep. Oh, what, what are you gonna say? No, no, no. Oh, you stick your finger sheep. in the sheep butt. Shut it down. Shut it down. down. Sheep butt. I can't even say anything. Lay fuck the sheep. No, because she, you guys obviously, are freaking dude. freaking out. Obviously, you can't. Like, well, there was that one sheep? time. No, I got no. nipples. Can you milk me? The sheep. The sheep are cool to have as pets. Too far. The sheep are cool to have as pets. Like you would, you could raise them. Is that what you called them? You would give them to. Heavy petty. They had like 4-H club. This one's name is Gant. Show like. Literally, literally Napoleon Dynamite style where he like goes and shows off a cow you know that's what you like everyone loves showing off sheep like the girls like they everyone had a little fucking lamb because fucking lambs were fucking were all the girls with the school with named Mary animals. too uh, yeah at least probably a Mary every three years or so um, but anyway when we had sheep for the couple of years we would have to feed them these oats out of, in this trough you, you know and, no, no, no. they would fucking just go at them you know I, dude i was literally probably too. seven eight years old at this time and uh we would throw all this uh oats on <laughs> in the trough and then the sheep would come over and i would climb over the fence and hop on the back of it hold on to its wool because it's easy to grab and it would fucking ride off like you know like mud busting no just like uh, riding a fucking yeah, mutton, bronco you mutton, rode the back uh, of a sheep that's you ride it hard and they, mutton, st- they still do it? that in the, like the sailor you. fairs and uh, uh, what is it uh, rodeos yeah, mutton busting. Mutton busting, that's Mut- what it's called? Yeah, where the kids ride sheep instead of bulls. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah, so it's like your Did first little taste. Oh, yeah, dude. They were bucked. They're fucking yeah. vicious, dude. Yeah, good, good sheep will do that. I mean, that's why you back them up to the <laughs> cliff, right? <laughs> oh, you see it all, but okay. You told me about this. I I, I'm not like. saying I don't fuck sheep. You I'm told me making fun of you. You're going to make me mud that me. bust fucking <laughs> early. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, mutton busting, not busting and mutton. <laughs> busting. Jesus. Well, when I'm busting the mutton, I can't get my words. Either right? way, we had it down do to a like, science you, though as kids because like for how we, soon we get the sheep fucking in the podcast? Soon as, no, as soon as I would jump record. on one sheep's back, they would all scatter or whatever. So my sister was would like cover up the oats so they wouldn't co- like keep eating it or whatever. And then I would fucking fall off, you know, thirty feet away or whatever, <laughs> and walk back. They would fucking open it up. All the sheep would come back, and I would just hop on You're another one. It was <laughs> fucking great. So you're like man. seven in this, right? Seven, what? Right? You said you're seven, right? This was last. Oh year. yeah, dude, I was fucking. Now young. I just imagine it was, it was you fun. like with a full lame beard, but being an eight year old, <laughs> be like, "Check this shit out!" That's fun. I can actually imagine. I probably was wearing like this. Uh, orange spray painted cowboy hat. <laughs> what? Yeah. Why? Like a know. plastic one? And yeah, I don't even know. It was like I just remember getting it at like the fucking state fair. They like airbrushed it, painted mm. it, or whatever. Mm. It was this orange. It was pretty cool fucking hat as a kid. And nice. I would probably definitely put that on when I was doing it. God, that'd be great. Either way, yeah, it was riding sheep is fun. What no? I'd probably kill a fucking it's, thing even at eight, eight years old. I'd probably... Very nice, fond childhood memory. <laughs> I mean, I think I've worn out the sheep fucking jokes. I know you. Like, I know. On, I know. You guys just keep making them. So. Fuck. I'm just trying to clear my name here. I mean, anyway. Now, now, since you met at such a young age, did you did you then take that sheep to to do your prom? No, we stopped uh, raising sheep. Not that for a while. Uh, fucking, they're a fucking hassle. Sheep frigid. are fucking. They're, they're frigid. 
Frigid? <laughs> the frigid bitches. <laughs> They're just fucking, <laughs> yeah. Well, they are little fucking bitches. Probably. But I, I uh, honestly... So if you wanted to go and get oh. counsel on sheep riding... Oh, yes, <laughs> yes I, would, I would go to Lane on that. Sorry to fucking... Unless uh, you have a sheep He only got 30 feet. I don't know if I would trust Lane. Anybody here a bull riding experience or done you? one of those machines? Dude, I, I bet Dude, it lasts you, eight I, seconds. I, yeah. I've never done yeah, any man. of those. All right, well, then I guess I'd have to go It's a new lane. record for... All right. Shit, I was, yeah, I, yeah. You were actually at at the old arena too. I know we definitely uh, used to have parties out there later on in life. The old arena. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the old arena where the sheep were. We partied in that barn. Oh, that's that's a weird name for a strip club. <laughs> the old arena. The old arena. Come here, sheep. Good name for a strip club. Am I a street? A street? Sheep <laughs> sheep club. Meryl Street. All right. Let's let's get, let's what's get, what's the next uh, council? Because I'm just gonna keep making sheep fuck jokes. Yeah. How did that? How did we get sidetracked? What was that one on? Sheep fucking. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> well, what would you guys like to get counsel on? Huh? Nobody else has any council topics. Well, you're oh, generate. Oh, I see. I see. Um, I would like to get counsel on nice. food recommendations. Restaurants? Restaurants. Or just food. I'd go two ways because... No, no, no. He's... Restaurant. Let's do restaurants and then I would do do cooking. So he goes on dates. I'm fat. Let's go both ways. Well, I'm going to say this, though. If I wanted counsel on restaurants, I would go to John. Really? If I wanted counsel on cooking, I would go to Derek. Really? I would have picked the exact opposite of that. No, no, I've Derek's cooked for me before. Yeah, I haven't cooked for you, though. Yeah, I, I know Derek's cooking. I, I don't know. shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. We talked about this. Oh, yeah. Well, and then run a quarter mile. <laughs> just oh, sprint speaking upstairs. Of food, you, what? You, you still going to blue ball me with that, the meat? Hoagies? The meat. Meats? Oh, shit. Yes. So if you want... Uh, it's not really cooking, but I have a charcuterie board for us. Right now? Yes. Yeah. I'll be right back. Bust it out. Bust out the charcuterie. Uh, Watch yeah. out for the coat hanger. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the doorstep. Do you want to uh, describe what ha- just happened for the listeners? Yeah, so uh, as you know, the, the, the episode two of the Dildo Saga. Uh, no, previous, because actually we ended. They didn't even know what happened. On trash Talk. What happened in last week at Dildos the end of the episode? Dildos galore. Dan apparently had gone outside <clears throat> and had his girlfriend throw a peanut butter covered dildo. Over the fence. I just wish someone looked at the window and saw somebody pull up, not even park, just drive their car with a tr- with a peanut butter covered dildo and just fucking whip into a car, a backyard, and then just drive away. And then like, take off, dude. You know, someone someone saw. I hope to fuck someone saw that. Not what she was carrying, but someone saw a car. Someone saw a girl get out and didn't see what they did, you know, or something. I don't know. Yeah. But it's a Molotov. So Dan Molotov purposely. Cocktail. Mo- <laughs> Mo- oh, that's too easy. Molotov cocktail is too easy. Cock- Molotov cocktail. I never mind. Just Molotov cock. Molotov cock. <laughs> <laughs> you have to stop yourself from saying tail. Um, but anyway, Dan purposely let Neva outside so she would bring the dildo back inside. And immediately, as Dan, when Derek saw Neva with a dildo, knew that Dan had done it. And, then, and this is previously then, too, that maybe like, I don't know, weeks before that, Dan won the dildo yeah. in the claw machine. Were you there for that? Hmm. No. I think that was some other random night, actually. No, you guys Derek don't call me unless we're, uh, we're already... We don't, you don't call uh, me. I don't go to the homie unless it's after the yeah, trash you don't, talk. Yeah, you don't, you, oh. don't like, you don't like hanging out. That's not true. Where'd you get that nice uh, little bag? Uh, Bad Bath Beyond. Really? Oh, wait, no. The last one I got Bad Bath Beyond, it broke. I got this one on Amazon. Amazon? For about 10 bucks. Wow. And it's got the expansion. You know what down there? You what? To the river? I need, I need to get a new cooler like that. I need to get a little backpack cooler, yeah. I feel like. Well, this is perfect because I, I, I load up a, like a cleaning tray with all my shit for work. Like a tote, you know, so I can leave it in my truck. Holy shit. Well, it looks and like you the, haven't even made a tray. You it, just, it, he it, just brought a bunch of containers in. It's this. a group activity. The charcuterie? Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we did Legos. Now we're going to make a charcuterie. Oh, oh, we should be filming this. I'll go out and get some uh, pine needles to make it look real classy. Pine, crackers. Pine needles. Pine crackers. This is the Ooh. everything bagel. The other one, I think, is just like thyme and salt. Here's some cheeses. 
Oh my goodness. Cheddar, Cox, shit. and Gouda. Oh wow. Yeah, cheese knife? Because a knife knife. A knife knife. That's not a knife. That's a knife. You can have so, who would you go to for charcuterie trays? Uh, obviously, uh, me. I, I have one right well, here. Yeah, I'm, but I mean, this, I go this right special now. meat, though, is smoked cured beef. Where'd you get it? Somebody left it at the Airbnb and they messaged me like, hey, you have a really good oh. brands of butcher and made it. Yeah, here. No. Where'd you get the cheese? Bakers. Nice. Uh, Which kind is that again? Smoked Gouda. It's not smoked. Oh, just regular Gouda? Can, I, can you slice me some Gouda, please? Nope. Some Munster, maybe? It's quite Gouda. What are the other ones? Cheddar and Munster. Mm. What do you want, Gouda, cheddar, mantra. Gouda, I think. Uh -huh. I don't get Gouda that often. Mm -hmm. um, how about this? Who are you going to for a palate? Who has the best palate? Mm. That's really hard to judge. I don't know. I, I've never thought about someone going, you know what? I bet he tastes real good. You know? No. Who? who oh. I mean, like, oh, tongue taste palate? Yeah. I was thinking, yeah. like, palates. I was like, oh, I haven't palates. seen either of you with palates, and I would assume John would have now of anybody. <laughs> What kind of palate John have? Excuse me, let me have that piece. Um, no, I'm talking about who would you go to for just like buy this kind of cheese, buy this cracker. Um, I mean, I buy cheese and crackers quite often, personally. What about you? Well, you're not giving me cheese and crackers right now, so I'm gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. You don't normally? What? Am I supposed to go with Derek or you? <coughs> oh, no, I, I fucking love it. I was, was going to bring up uh, Trader Joe's uh, cheese selection. Oh, you buy cheese is, at Trader in, Joe's? Well, just because I can get uh, you know, Hardy Dill and, you know, smoked Goudas, uh, double Gloucesters. Uh, you know, I can get some real stanky cheese. I can get some real soft, wet cheese for melting, you know. Do you like blue um, cheese? I love blue cheese. I love blue cheese. Ew. Ew. Fuck, I love Ew. feta. Feta and blue cheese. Uh, but the point is, like, you can get a Havarti there for, like, four bucks a pound. And Baker's is, like, 12 bucks a pound. Have you been to the Sour Creek Baker's? No. Oh. I just recently, I'm in there for the first time. Mm. What? Mm. Recently, I just went in there for the first time. Baker's. On Saddle Creek. Mm. Are you serious? What are you talking about? You always... Oh, Sorry. When you said on Saddle Creek, I started God thinking damn. of like the bakers that's uh, by like Fort Street or whatever, not far from here. Oh. Mm. Dude, get their number. Well, you have their number. I want to call them. But, John, I was going to sell to you. Mm. I, I found this out recently. You know, God you know the bakers on Saddle Creek and no. Center, you know? No. You don't? Saddle Creek and no, I Or no, no, excuse me, Leavenworth. It's Leavenworth. Oh, no, I definitely not them. Really? Dude, I'm not from around here. You should go to that bakers. I'm from bakers. around here, boy. I, uh, it's a really good baker. It's, it's been my baker the entire time I've ever lived here in Omaha. But um, I re I've heard recently is referred to as gakers. <laughs> Why? The, because it just like appeases to a lot of gay people. Like because they have a really good cheese section, Fuck. and Gosh. their wine section apparently is always really well, and sushi mm. all the time. Mm. You know, I've had Baker sushi a few times. I don't. Dan's Dan used to say it's it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. But I've seen the guy there cutting it, making it. You know, well, like on site nice. or whatever. Yes. That's the day you're supposed to get mm. it or whatever. Mm. <clears throat> Can I have a slice? Of you ever had Sam's Club sushi? Did you have any that meat yet? I tried some meat. Mm. Can I have a slice of Munster? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Oh yeah. Mm. Soft Damn. So good. so John, I think you should check out Gakers. Oh. You'll, be, you'll probably be pleasantly well, surprised. Yeah, but I can get all my wine and cheese for a hell of a lot better price than Gakers. At, at what? I get my I can get my supplies at a cheaper price than going to Gakers. How do you know if you've never been? According to Bakers. 
Mm, I think Baker's is well priced compared to High V. Well, yes. that's not a stretch, but I, yeah, okay, I should say yeah. And this Baker's on Leavenworth and Saddle Creek is the cheaper Baker's, not like because they have cheap shit, just because it's like the community, you know, like the, the Baker's out west are way more expensive mm, for the no. exact same thing. Yeah, makes sense. Considering, well, hmm, next time I load up on cheese, I might check it out. Wine, not so much. I give a fuck about wine. But unless they have a good beer selection if too. Someone, yeah, I tell you what though, if, if if someone gives me a wine and cheese pairing, I'm sure I will enjoy it. But I've never tried it myself. So if you know anybody that, do you know anybody that would be able to do that? Who would you go to outside of this room for a, a wine and cheese pairing? I would, I would go somewhere. Oh. I, I don't, and that's that's just like my friends. I don't I don't know anyone that's a wine expert. Oh. You know, I've been to wineries or not wineries, wine steaneries where the guys just walk around with towels. No. And the dicks are out. Oh, it's just like a. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm kind of thinking of like bricks. Kind of they use land. It's like a winery. He's always whining about <laughs> something. <laughs> Whinging. No, but I've been to like. Mitch. Not not Minge. Well, oh. not now, Minge. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? That's the South Park episode. Yeah, the way you said it. <laughs> Creeper and shit. Uh, I just re- I'm remembering Bricks in Midtown that used to have a really good wine section. And the people that worked there were like, I don't know, wine people or whatever. Who you'd go to to talk about wine and stuff. So. There's some olives we got right now. Some green olives. Oh, she hit her head. I haven't had that many green olives oh. that I like. I love that gouda with this meat. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Cheddar's pretty good with beef, oh, too. What's, uh, Can what's I get the, a slice of cheddar? cheddar? Where'd you get it from? Can I get a slice of cheddar? That's the only thing I haven't had yet. So what? Where'd you get the cheddar from? That's all, all the cheeses from Baker's. No, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, what's a, what's the cheddar brand? And I mean, is it like a double Gloucestershire? Is it a single Gloucestershire? All the cheese. Murray's. Mild, is it, yeah, mild, sharp, extra sharp. Typically, I think I would get a sharp cheddar. I don't think that's sharp, though. I'm pretty sure that's more mild. That's really mild. Hmm. I love a good stanky cheddar, though. Oh, my God. It's a real just, like, kick in the fucking face cheddar. Mm. Oh, wow. Stanky. Ah, uh, see, what was I thinking of? Uh, what do you think Neva prefers? <laughs> Me? Literally anything. It's a fucking dog. She prefers all of it. <laughs> Have you seen those videos of the people that are like, my These... dog's a vegetarian? Oh my god, don't get me started. Their dogs are probably dying. They are dying. Yeah. And they're like, let's test it. Let's put a salad out, and then let's put some meat out. <laughs> I like how it says everything like the bagel. Not everything bagel, everything like the bagel. Yeah, that's funny, funny. Probably because it's patented or whatever. Trademarked. No way. I like these way better than uh, those other ones. Yeah, I don't care but for this, those ones too much. This They're is... too oniony or something. Oh, that's probably why I like them. Ooh, I'm making my... I tell you about onion sauce, right? I was making the onion sauce. Yeah. Do you... Anybody want to have the last piece of beef? I just had one, so I'm good. Uh, do you... you rock, paper? Do you go to... All right. He touched, touched it. it. He half. touched it. He cut in half. It'd be easier just to cut the fucking half. <laughs> uh, do you go to Trader Joe's a lot then? <clears throat> Only if I'm in the area... No, not a whole lot. So, I feel like. <clears throat> did you want that? I yes. feel like everything at Trader Joe's is like packaged, like their own packaging, own brand and stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah like, maybe will be. That's why I'm not like that into it because it's like I don't know. I have a good beer selection where the price would make it gross, but it's pretty decent. I've gone and bought produce and like flowers actually there before, but. I don't usually shop at Trader Joe's. Do you? Oh, do you, no. you go to Whole Foods ever or natural groceries no. or any of that shit. fucking... Is time even a thing anymore? I think Fresh Time got shut down, didn't it? I think you're right. Well, they shut down. I got you. I, I thought something kind of came up after it, but I don't think so. Uh, there, there was some... There was some well, Trader, oh. well, well, Trader Joe's is a bitch to get to. It's a 72nd Pacific. Who the fuck goes to 72nd Pacific? It's not that bad know? from here, but... 72nd Pacific? Yeah. What? Yeah. That's just one in Regency. It's the only one I know about. That, that's Regency. Well, that actually probably is 90. 90th or something. Yeah. And it's like, oh, what I'm are you sorry. just talking I'm about? Sorry. That's, that's, I'm sorry. That's, uh... 
first remark. Uh, <laughs> yeah, kind, not whatever. even though. Uh, okay, I don't go there. That's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. Now, that's, that's the that's fucking fine. point I'm saying. Is it's hard to? I love. I love the shot there. If there were one near me, <laughs> I'd ever... a lot. I went to an Aldi's once out west, and I was like, nah, not into that. I like uh, I just, did Aldi's just good time. meats. I got a huge pork loin for free from um, Aldi's. Yeah. Nate I was think like, the guy yeah. that was bagging my stuff might have been hitting on me a little bit, and he's like, oh, I forgot to ring this up. And I was like, oh, well, is that already closed out? And he's just like, it's on the house. Nice. Like, slipped it in my bag. I was like, you slipped in your bag, yeah? He slipped meat no, in you, your did bag. Did you slip him your a bag? whole loin. That's crazy. That's like that's like 20 bucks. Dude. 20, 30 bucks. That was uh, on... I don't think it was more than like 12, maybe 15. That's on purpose, Still. though. That's on purpose, I, I right? I haven't bought a fucking pork loin in a while, but yeah. That is on purpose. Yeah, no shit. How do you forget a loin? Yeah, well, you're sad. <laughs> My wife sure did. <laughs> uh, Bring it down. Uh... I would, I, I've been all the while, but I used to go there a lot. Who would, who would you go to for Shut up. shopping? And do they make a really Rise. good uh, tzatziki dip? Ooh, but you have to go for. dig for it. Like it's 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 like this weird like variety box. It's a good price, but you have to go fucking find the tzatziki. In all the, these was difficult in the to shop of a, at. Yeah, it's a, yeah, but that's the fucking point. They deliver like with a box out there and go, "Good luck, asshole." That's their. You know. I mean, you don't know what they're necessarily always going to have. That too, yeah. yeah. I, I go to a grocery store and I have recipes I'm going to make, you know, and I have a list of ingredients I need. And I can't, and when I went there, like I bought things. I, I had like ad hoc a bunch of meals when I got there. It was just like this is not what I was expecting. Yeah, yeah, it's a. I always think it's like a fucking big loss or whatever. Yeah, it's a big loss for food. Yeah, it's like. Oh, we have an, a whole bunch of extra this. Let's send it to the fucking Aldi, you know? Well, yeah, but they also have I don't to... Know. Their whole business model is getting things as absolutely cheap as they possibly can. You know, that's their whole... I mean, they're, they're German. That's their... Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Aldi's What's German. Aldi mean? Uh, Hello. Hi. Really? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you guys <laughs> both, both said it. the same thing. Yeah, what yeah the well, he said hello, that? so my knee-jerk reactions was to say hi back. Hi. <laughs> Ahoy, hoy. That was the original hello on the phone. I, I actually use it. Oh, and then uh, mushy, whatever, whatever Smithers mushy, says. Mushy, mushy. Whatever Mr. Burns says. Ms. Smithers. Mr. Burns says ahoy hoy. Ahoy hoy. Ahoy hoy. My mom calls me. First time I go, mushy, mushy. She goes. Uh, That's hello uh, in Japan. Yes. Japanese. <laughs> I know. I fucking use the word. She calls me. And I go, mushy, mushy. And she goes, uh, is, it, is this a good time when you're pooping? I'm like, what the fuck? I'm mushy mushy. Aldi's like a, a extremely shortened version of somebody's hyphenated last name. Oh, that's right. Albrecht discount. Because two, the, the name sounds like a story. Albrecht, Albrecht discount. Huh. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, because it's him and his brother or something like that. The family split. I just scanned, Aldi scan, Aldi uh, Nord, scanned this real fast. But, but I do believe if I think, I, I think. If I, heard, if I remember this correctly, uh, Trader Joe's is owned by Aldi's. I think I heard that before. Which would make a lot of sense, what? considering how cheap it is. But it's that it's like the fancy Aldi. You know Where things are actually organized, and yeah. you can reliably find the, what you're looking yeah, for. Do they, they have, have the same brand They have stuff? yuppie moms getting pissy because you're taking too long looking at something on an aisle, and they like smash in front of you to get stuff. It's like, bitch, there's like, not, I ain't a foot here. Sorry. <laughs> it, Trader Joe's kind of pisses me off with the people that are in there. Yeah, I've like I just remember like walking down the aisles and being like, uh, I don't want this. You know, uh, walking down the next aisle, I was like, I don't want any of this. At Trader Joe's. What am I? You know, like I, I walk like, the next aisle, I'm like, I don't want this shit. What am I doing here? I do like at Trader Joe's how they have uh, shelves above the bunkers to save space. It's brilliant. What? So the, the, the the fridges and freezers. They have the the shell product shelves on top of those freezers. It's brilliant. I don't know if I remember that. So like, so like, it's weird. Like, I want, you think like nice crackers? They have a really good cracker assortment there, and it's above like the frozen tuna or something or the frozen salmon. It's it's weird. Oh, so you buy something to dip into? No, or whatever. no. Say a, a bunker, a freezer bunker. Dip your cracker in your salmon. Okay, here's the bunker full of frozen food. Above this bunker is a shelf of products, so it's not just open air. They're using the space. Okay, I see. Yeah. Yes. You're talking about, like, top loaders. Fucking wow. <laughs> what the fuck uh, is a top the, loader? The ice chest, like, they open up, like, like the doors on top instead of, like, opening oh, from the front. Oh, that's a deep freeze. 
They're like deep freeze style. Is that what you were describing? No, like the bunkers at the grocery stores. They have product in them. The yeah, they're like you open you from the bo- top down. You you dig in from the top. Yeah, is yeah. it opening a door? Yeah. Well, most bunkers, yeah, so, yeah, most there's no, uh, freezers at the grocery store are doors no, that you that's open. Refer- yeah, but that, in, if it's that's how it's yes. Well, so that's but how that's not how all, Bakers uh, uh, is. There's no bunkers at Bakers, right? No there are a lot of bakers. bakers. Uh, yeah, there is. Where? Well, I guess we're done with the cheese. Okay. So uh, over by like, the breads and desserts. <laughs> the fuck? I guess we're just done with the fucking what, cheese. Are you going to eat all my cheese? Well, I don't know, man. Who's sitting here? Yeah, you're oh, offering no. cheese. No, give it oh. no. Uh, no. Neva. Cheese on the ground. God damn it. Here, here. Well, now and my dog's going to have diabetes. Enjoy that cheese, you bitch. <laughs> Well, excuse me. I thought we were eating a bunch of cheese. I'm sorry. No, he offered us some. He left some in the fridge for himself. Well, now I want to. He's yeah, I gave you all the meat. That was the special part. Well, now I want to do a, like, we should bring a charcuterie like, board. Not my cheese, motherfucker. <laughs> do you want to start doing a charcuterie I know John will end up eating all of it, and I'm looking forward to having some more cheese later. <laughs> well. Late night cheese. You know your audience. It's true. When do you eat cheese? In the evening? Whenever I can. <laughs> In the morning? That's a true statement. I always have little cheese meal snacks. Of cheese in the morning for breakfast? No. Yeah. What the fuck do you think is on a McMuffin? Cheese? Butter goes on a muffin. McMuffin. A McMuffin. Oh, you get McMuffins a lot? The, the McDonald's, not the Irish one. I don't go to McDonald's ever. You know why? I'm saying a breakfast sandwich. Fine. A breakfast sandwich has cheese on it. Eggs. Cheese on the eggs. Cheese is an everyday, Not all day meal. Not everyone. Does it have to, what the fuck? You're this asking is a cheese, cheese house, and most of my meals have, if not cheese, something very close to it, like yogurt. Dude, yeah. chick, chick, uh, uh, that's where you get your dairy from. A bowl of still and cheese. Bowl of skinless breast on top of better rice with some freshly, uh, freshly shredded, freshly sh- shredded sharp cheddar. That's hard to say. Uh, and let it melt on top of the hot. sharp cheddar down by the, the she and they hit that, hit that I mean, with some homemade yum yum sauce. Oh, it's so good. I'm, but you can't put soy sauce on it. Say yum yum or gun yum? Yum yum. Yum yum. Yub nub. Soy sauce and cheese don't mix. I, I you know. say yum nub? Yub nub. Yum dub. Yub nub. Yub nub. Star Wars. Yub nub. Uh, I like, I'm not trying to like be against cheese here. I like the cheese. Cheese. Not a cheese. Hold man. on, if you're a cheese. Cheese and crackers, like, Lane. Hold on. I just think that you, cheese in moderation. I feel What's like you can overdo cheese really quick. Hold on, if really you say Jesus, does it sound, is that, are you against Jesus. it or for it? No, I've definitely heard people say Jesus instead of saying Jesus. I'm sure you have. But the, the, if you're a cheesist, is it like, are you against certain cheeses or are you for all cheeses? Because no. che- cheese monger is the actual term. That No, uh, a monger is someone that sells, yes. deals cheese. A cheesist is someone that is pro-cheese. They, they are... For a cheese, cheese. Su- a cheese supremacist? Because you're anti-cheese if you're against cheese. Yeah, but wouldn't that be cheesist? It's like racist, cheesist, sexist? No, not at all. A cheesist is someone that's pro-cheese. So what would you but why, would that, why is that the outlier? All the other ists. So do you have something against somebody having some cheese in their eggs in the, in the, at breakfast time and at lunch having a sandwich with cheese on it and then maybe having some a cheeseburger for dinner? Having, is that too much cheese for you? Of, Where do you draw the line, Lane? I've been having a I chunk of cheese and crackers I don't before want, I lift this podcast. Just like looking at it, you can tell if something has too much cheese on it. If there's more cheese Well, it's one thing burger. to say that there's no too much shit. cheese on something. Like, when, I like to have some sandwich with my cheese. <laughs> That's probably too I, much cheese. Honestly, I'm but not... But if I have cheese in every meal, tastefully, is that bad? No, not, no, not at all. I don't not, know. Not, your like I said, in moderation. In I like, broccoli? to me... A God. grilled. I'm cheese. in a lot of pain. I'll put it that way. <laughs> like a grilled cheese. That's too much cheese. A grilled cheese. Like you have to do something with that grilled cheese. You dip, you, dip it in tomato soup. It, if you do it wrong, it's too much cheese. Sure. Maybe I've seen some grilled cheeses. That's that why. Are that's just why with, with, with regular. I like ass, to put a couple different types of cheese bread, in my grilled cheese. That's different. With that's regular ass white bread, like just just a, she, a, a single slice. Some Wonder of white bread. bread. Sure, Wonder Bread or Texas. I toast. tell you what, though, the, there is a noticeable a, 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 a point where I don't like a difference of one between one and two slices of American cheese on that. Because two is too much. I will give you that. There are other such things as too much cheese so, on those sandwiches. Wonder Bread and American work. cheese, yeah. Yeah, but it has to be the one slice. There's too many slices, and it's just this gloopy, gloppal. The ratios are off. Yeah, yeah. The for textures sure. are off. There's a whole reason. You can make, mo- you can make like five of them if you're going to eat that many. Just don't double the cheese. Exactly. Do, sour, do sourdough grilled cheese with cheddar, shaved cheddar. or um, And a slice of Havarti. Oh, dude. 
You buy Havarti cheese. Sometimes. Yeah, Do you have a cheese drawer Dude, in your Havarti's fridge? So good. Yeah. There is a drawer I put cheese in, and uh, it's next door to the meat drawer. Well, specifically uh, cheese. Trader Joe's just does, cheese. Yes. Trader Joe's does have a... Uh, it literally has a setting for cheese. And it's, and it's full. So do I. Uh, it's a cheese crisper. Cheese <laughs> crisper? It's a Wait, cheeser. Uh, uh, damn it. Uh, cheeser's pleaser. I, 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 I mentioned Havarti Dill a few times, but it's because uh, Trader Joe's has a, a very good Havarti Dill. Like, one of the best I've had. And the thing is, they're not some, some like, you know, bullshit... You know, fake looking. Well, well, if it's fake, I couldn't tell you. But it looks like it's a real. Isn't real that company. a thing that you know some cheese is, is fake cheese? Uh, under the U.S. Uh, FDA, it has to be like. Like American cheese is can't be legally called American cheese. It's American cheese product because it's like a bunch of different types of cheese put together. It's chemical. It's more plastic no, no. than cheese now, master. Yeah, most likely. Actually, well, no, the, the, it's because it's. Multiple different types of cheeses to achieve the cheese cheeses. Dude, you are cheesing out right now. <laughs> Is he? You're never gonna see the tits, right? You're never gonna look good. Look at the tits anyway. Oh, have it right there. <laughs> Get the fuck out of there, Nava. You don't drink beer. You're a dog. Well, she got drunk with me last week. She eats cheese though, for sure. We got wasted, dude. She was like pouring shots, and I'd like to see that. She's a pretty good bartender, actually. She yeah. made me a martini that one time. They started hitting on me. And they it got was awkward. Just a lot of dog hair, mm-hmm. though, really. She's a little furry down there. Yeah. Ha! So what's the uh, anyway? I think we are we done cheese. with cheese? Think, well, done? I mean, never. But I mean, I think we're. So covered. what did you think of the smoked cured beef mm. curtains? That was insane. The beef was good. Probably yeah. the best part. Did you have it by itself? Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty strong flavor. That's why I got a lot of the cheeses I got was like help mellow it out. Oh, you bought the cheeses to go with it that they left? I was trying. I knew I wanted to get yeah, cheddar. Yeah. Wait, I saw the Moonstone. Like, that'd be pretty good because it's a really mild cheese. Yeah. Can't go wrong with uh, I, The Gouda, I think, was my favorite, That's, though. Yeah. You ever, now, I'm assuming you've had smoked Gouda. Yes. Okay. What do you prefer? Gouda or smoked Gouda? Well... Depending on the mood I'm in, I guess. Oh, I didn't get smoked point. Gouda because that beef was already smoked. Yeah, yeah. Good call on that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But by itself, the smoked Gouda with some water crackers. Oh, oh. I Sorry, mean, God damn everything it. is better if you smoke it. Right? Yeah, Marijuana. Depends on the, depends on no, the application. No, we're talking like pork, ribs, yeah. you know, goose, yeah. Yeah. jerky yeah. smoked and Baseball. Shit. <clears throat> I smoked it. Smoke, yeah, you smoke a baseball, you know. You golf penis smoke. I like it. My penis pull, smoke. Someone pull, likes pull a good smoke. smoking pull penis. Smoking. You know, fucking. <laughs> yeah, have you ever used the term pole smoker outside of a reference to full metal jacket? I mean, I've never used the term. You fucking pole smoker. No, I, fuck? I feel like I, I've heard people like roll up on me like, "You fucking pole smoker. What are you doing? I'm smoking some pole." Yeah, yeah. Jesus. That's funny. Anyway, sorry. I guess okay. I guess we weren't done with shows. So maybe we are now. What's what's the what's what's up? What do we got? We're still randoming. Yeah. Advice, well, right? Yeah. Counsel. Counsel. Well, unless everybody's got to- they have topics. I don't have any topics. I kind of had a topic, but it's not a topic. Was it a hot topic? Mm-hmm. It's not hot. It was cold. Topic. It's pretty. It's just something I found interesting. It's not enough. Do so you guys hear? Uh, I call it Trumpster Fire. This <laughs> mega Trump fan. I, his house burnt down, and he had like pictures of somebody had spray painted Biden, BLM, twenty twenty, <laughs> Antifa. Like, all these different people apparently got together to destroy this guy's house because he was, like, a huge Trump fan. Oh, shit. Well, after the arson report came back, he just destroyed his own house. Oh! He did it on purpose, trying to blame all this stuff. Which is funny, though. If you look at the the tagging that's done on there, it's all the same handwriting, but it's like somebody just grabbed a bunch of hot-button topics and threw them all together. It's like... Is Antifa really like hanging out with Biden or Black Lives Matter or I mean not that they wouldn't but like to have Biden BLM Antifa you know like all this random shit coming together on that huh. it's just like I, yeah, wonder, I don't think so man it sounds like it's well it sounds I like mean, it's, it's just from the beginning it's a false flag of you know oh I'm the victim people yeah. you know? people do that shit all the time there Minneapolis was, has happened in there was actually something that happened in Lincoln maybe five years ago where someone tried. Uh, Saying that they were, you know, abused of a hate crime and they was spray painted the F word, F A G, all over their house and everything. Notorious. And uh, it turned out that they had done it themselves in the end. Kind of like Josie Smollett? Uh, essentially, yeah. yes. Yeah. Just like that. And this happened in Lincoln, Nebraska. Ooh. You oh, know? Shit. Yeah. Huh. And I, I can't remember how they, like, figured it out that she had done it, but. Weird. It was, yeah. Huh. 
So that's just, yeah, people do that shit all the time. And, and that's the thing, in this day and age, you're going to get caught. Yeah. You know, especially like with, with ring cameras and stuff nowadays. Yeah. And the paint on the index finger from the can. Yep, yeah. exactly. So I get one of those, those, those grips that I thought was so cool. Gloves. Oh, that too. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. What's wrong with your dog? Do you go potty? Dog food, why? Not terribly expressive. <sighs> Seems like she uh, knows oh. someone through a dildo in the backyard and wants to go get it. I'm surprised that dildo is on the door still, man. It's held up quite quite well. You're right. It's a dildo. I tell you, I, I, tell you, I had that, that bruise on my fucking dome for like a couple days. Th- I it might be still there. From know. your forehead? No, from when Derek just went boom with the fucking dildo. He's like saying I slammed it. He watched the video. I just went like this. No, you fucking <laughs> slammed it on my head. Well, I didn't see a slam. Or, or, or maybe it was the one where you just ripped it off my head. Maybe that's what it caused. I feel it. like that's what, what it caused. Way, that. It fucking hurt. I definitely well, yeah. feel like the ripping a, because the ripping of the tear. That brings the, the that brings the blood. Those were like, like yeah, that's it. exactly what. Yeah, probably pulling right. it off your head. Well, hey, either way, I had a fucking. Dildo. I pulled the head off your head. <laughs> either way, I had a fucking. Red semicircle bruise on my Two face. heads are better than one. <sighs> on my head for too long. And you keep putting it on your head. It's still funny. And getting it thrown at your head. Yeah, someone threw it in my fucking face, you prick. Yeah, I <laughs> meant I threw it at your head, your face turned around and got in the way. Do you hate it when that happens? Yes. No, she don't want that. You don't give a fuck. She said she wanted to go outside. She wants attention. <laughs> you want attention? Get her a beer. You want a dog? Pour her a shot. This dog a shot. So welcome to Trash Talk. I'm D. This is Neva, our guest. She don't say much, does she? She says a lot, unfortunately. <laughs> that's, 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 she's very No, vocal. she just says the same thing over and over. Well, Neva, Can what's I on just... top of a house? Say it. <laughs> Roof. Oh, that's fuck right. Fuck off. What, hey, Neva. Neva, what's sandpaper feel like? What's it feel like? Tell me. Sure. <laughs> it's pretty good. Hey, Neva. How does Derek fuck? Rough. <laughs> Consider it. What if she went back? <laughs> like a bitch. It's called doggy style. <laughs> She knows what's up, that's for sure. How many Dos Equis did you bring over? Three. <laughs> Just from last week. Trace. <laughs> Trace Equis, which is actually Sace Equis. Yes. Six, six, yes. six of them. Three, three times six. Two times two. <laughs> you know, you're right. You're, you're right. <laughs> I know I am. I well, what's can your, what's do your topic some math. Here, dickhole? I oh, mean, my topic? Yeah, what's your topic? Do you... Um, do you know the song? Do you believe in love after love? <laughs> is that the first? I think that's the first song with auto tune, isn't it? I, think it's I don't know, maybe. The first song, but it's catchy as fuck. I like it. Do, do you know Wayne, the words, the song, Bird. 99 Red Balloons? 99 Loop Balloons. It's about like nuclear war or something like that. I can't remember what the fuck it is. But why, why are you talking about 99 it? Oompa Loops? Loof Balloons. Loof Balloons. 99. Right? Loof. Loof Balloons. It's 99 Red Balloons. Yeah. It's catchy as fuck. All right, you got it. Do you know? Do you know the the work song? No. First off, it was yes, you do. You what? know this song. No. You... Ninety nine red balloons. Oh. Something, something, something. Okay. Balloon. Yes. Do yes. you know the lyrics to it, or have you only heard the like German Dutch version. German, German version? German, yeah, German. Ninety-nine. Whatever they hear on the radio. So what I've heard. Just loose patterns. But do you? <laughs> do you don't know the, the lyrics to it. Do you no. know what the song's about? Or no. Not? No. No. Neither did I. Okay. Damn. No. You want to no. hear him? You want to hear it? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, that does not sound fun. Let's hear it. This is, this is my topic. Okay. From the guy that does not allow any happen. music to be played, I'm going to play some music. No, I'm not playing the music. I'm going to read you the lyrics. Did, did say the Holocaust? Yeah, I'm not sing the sing lyrics. It. No, I'm not going to sing them. I'm not going to sing them. Can I'll you read? It. I'll sing it. You and I in a little toy shop. Oh. 
No. Buy a bag of balloons with the money we've got. Do at least sing to the tune, you fucking dork. Set them free at the break of dawn. No, come on, no. Do one by one. I hate it. They were gone. Stop. No, you're not doing it. Wait, okay. So this is this is the important part. So someone bought balloons and set them free. You know, all right, right. In real life. No, this is what the song's about, okay. right? Yes. Back at base. Bugs in the software, flashing the message, something's out there. Floating in the summer sky, 99 red balloons go by. Yeah, that's, I can't remember what it was, but nuclear war basically was like... Instrumental interlude. Balloons they thought were incoming ICBMs, they launched ICBMs, and America goes, oh, she's launching ICBMs, next thing they it's about, it's, it's, it's German, so it's east and west, you know? There's the wall. Oh. Okay, so 99 red balloons floating in the summer sky. The, bu- the balloons went over the wall. Panic bells. It's red alert. There's something oh, here from somewhere it, else. You sing it? No, no, no. no. I can s- read them. Yep, yeah, but that's not as fun, though. You got to sing it. Man. The war machine springs to life. Opens, opens up, up that eager, eager eye. eye. Focusing it on the sky when 99 red balloons go by. Okay, okay, stop that. <laughs> what? They stop. It's not. It's not over. Ninety nine decision street. Ninety nine ministers meet. Ministers meet. What? Ninety nine meet. Ministers. <laughs> ministers meet. Ninety nine ministers meet. To worry, worry, super scurry. You know, it's like Pentagon shit. Call the troops out in a hurry. This is what we've waited for. This is it, boys. This is war. President is on the line as ninety nine. The balloons, balloons go, go by. by. <laughs> uh, stop it. Okay. Uh, 99 nights in the air. Do you, you want to hear the most annoying jets sound in the world? Jets and shit? <laughs> no. 99 jets? Jets. 99 nights, nights in the air. Ride super high-tech jet fighters. That doesn't rhyme at all. Right, super high tech jet fighters. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just gotta get the words down. Everyone's Don't a tell superhero. Me about words, you motherfucker. Don't you dare tell me about words. Everyone's a superhero. Everyone's, Everyone's a Captain a Kirk. Everyone's a Captain Kirk, which orders to identify, to classify, and clarify. And fix, mix <laughs> he up. fucked that up. Yeah, well, scramble in the summer sky. 99 red balloons go by. They just bombed each other. I get that. Total, total war just happened because red balloons. Someone oh, released then, then yeah, 99 the Red Balloons. The then the yeah. outro. You gotta get the outro. Someone's left over but, but after this slow. like explosion. Yeah, like yeah. It, it breaks like, it down. Oh. Do you want to sing it or should I You got it. Is that a bass drop? dreams I yeah. had. In every one, a red balloon. It's all over. I'm standing pretty. In the dust that was a city. If I, it's, That's not as fun doing it like that. If I could yeah. find Ugh. a souvenir... Just to prove the world was here. And here it is. A red balloon. I think of you and let it go. Ah, I fucked that part. Yeah, oh, you yeah, had it. The, the, the ending's yeah. dumb. The ending's kind of dumb. But it it's just too. like crazy because it's always just been like a little fucking pop song yeah. that you hear. It's like, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. It's super depressing. Yeah. 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 That's a good, that's a good, uh, um, Hey, comparison, yeah. okay. but uh, but this is from the '80s or whatever. And it's just like a crazy song that you've I've seen in mo- like, mo- double multiple movies. Like the future, so bright, gotta wear shades is about nuclear holocaust. Yeah, there's a lot of songs that you are about that. But, every but this song is what the I, '80s is about anti-war. Or no, cocaine. not every song. Yeah, but this is what I love. Well, there's literally a song you, that goes da 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 cocaine. Yeah, okay. I I Sorry. thought it could be a recurring th- subject when you find a song. That you didn't know the lyrics to, or that like you found a new meaning to, or that you didn't know it was about Ooh. what it was. And I immediately thought of Lola, which is about like the transvestite or whatever yeah. back in the '60s, the Kinks song, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I myself, my parents, myself, saw this book. They have like this, you know, coffee table book of misunderstood song lyrics, like Jimi Hendrix. Excuse me while I kiss this guy. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I'm your the penis. Sky. I'm your fire. Uh, he's got the whole world in his pants. I think that's the title of the book. He's got the whole world in his pants. Got the whole world in his pants. Um, that's great. That's like a pretty thick cocktail book. I'm like, sure, I'm find that. I could see that. That would be fun. Who's taking uh, shots? I definitely was that as a kid, like not knowing what the lyrics were, or just being like, "Yeah, take me down to the very last city. Let's do this, Paradise City." <laughs> yeah. Take. Well, my favorite is "Take Me to Paradise City," where the girls are hot and they got big titties. <laughs> Ha 
Ooh. Wowza. So anyway, that was 99 red balloons go by. Hmm. I thought it was interesting. Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's very interesting. When, like, you know, uh, what songs did you know that are about war that you wouldn't think of? You already said a couple. Well, war pigs. <laughs> Get the fuck out no, of here. No, that's, that's about uh, two rival barbecue shacks. <laughs> Or there's any um, other like misunderstood song lyrics, you know, think, pump, well, pumped up kicks is pretty, about a yeah, school, school shooting. Yeah. Uh, what, what but it's about the idea most, of a school shooting. Ooh, most I would I would hazard most songs are about subjects that aren't like super clear, you know, like or what the what the author's well, intent is. I think that's so a good be. song I mean, is is meant to be ambiguous, you right, know. Yeah, you know, like uh, oh, my okay. big word for the day. For example, uh, hardest button the button. What button is that? Hardest button. What? Uh, he's talking about his baby who's cute as a button. I'm pretty sure he's talking about a clitoris. I don't know what he's talking about. We what's, got what's a family, and we got ourselves a boy. We named a baby. The whole song is about, I started a fucking family in the American Dream House, or, what, you know, like, white picket fence. Oh. Now we got a fucking baby, and the thing won't quit fucking crying. The hardest button. And he's the, button. the hardest button? Huh. Yeah, you know, he's cute as a button. There's always a hard button, the uh, button. Oh, that's, yeah, interesting. Huh. He's like doing some wordplay well, on that. Well, then hmm. there's like weird like lyrics that keep, like get broken down too much. Like you know, people overanalyze the fuck out of music. Oh, like, that, uh, that and that's why John Lennon wrote "I Am the Walrus." Oh, he he yeah, found out there was yeah. some class like teaching about Beatles lyrics, so he's like, "All right, uh, here yeah. you go." Oh, Duke, 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 Duke. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the Eggman. God, I love that part. I, I, I grew up with them. What the fuck is that? I love it. Uh, but like, uh, it's a sleep token. It's one of those like I think, I think I'm sure I brought it before, but it's a it's a uh, mystery band out of the UK. It's a completely ambiguous band like all our mm, masks like gorillas. Um, no, or they, they actually exist. Pu- um, what's up? So, what? The gorillas exist, but but yeah, but it's all animated characters. No, no one it's, knows. It's, it's like, Slip, like Slipknot. What's the p- oh, punk? Okay. Daft whatever punk. Daft Punk. Oh, Daft Punk. Sure, uh, but yeah, but the, the point anymore. is like like I'm, I'm going to see him in October with. Uh, unfortunately, they're opening up for this moment. So Sleep Token. But I'm like, are they from Iowa? Too? No, no, they're from, no, they're from the UK. Oh, okay. But sorry. they're touring. I'm so excited. Sleep token. S- so expensive. Yeah, but it's a shtick band too. The whole thing is they, they sing work, clown they posse, yeah. kiss. They, no, guar, guar. Uh, but it's a whole shtick band where like they worship this the deity sleep. It's a whole thing. Anyway, the deity a, sleep. Yeah, the sleep is ancient we, deity of Baba. Doesn't matter. Again, that's a, it's, a, it's it's meant to be overanalyzed. But the point is, there's a really cool lyric of their single Jaws. It's it's about a you know a a girl, but that it's like not who she seems. But like the way that it breaks it down it, on the surface, it seems very like oh obvious. But then they break it down even farther. You're like what the fuck? And then someone breaks it down even farther. It's this weird like you know the lyrics are show me those pretty white jaws, show me where the delicate stops, and it's like you know show me who you actually are type of thing. It's super easy to analyze. And then someone goes and then this fucking four or five fucking paragraphs you know explaining on Reddit. I'm like oh my god, he's right. You know, <laughs> it's like over analyze. But then someone tried to overanalyze your Led Zeppelin. It's like, they were on LSD. Yeah. It was just like, he's just rhyming, you know, Mordor and shit because he's reading Lord of the Rings and it fucking makes sense, you know? And that's it, being ambiguous, you know? It could mean whatever you want it to mean, you know? Yeah. Well, but, I mean, it's pretty clear. He met a girl so fair. They the darkest steps heaven. of Mordor. Yeah. The Gollum, the evil one. Yes. Crept up. Damn, I was just slipped away, away with her. Oh, that was a fucking Zeppelin, damn it. I was listening to In the Light on the Way over here. Fucking, maybe one of my favorite Led Zeppelin songs right now, that and Down by the Seaside, because I've been kind of on a little kick, Led Zeppelin kick this summer, I feel like. Either way. I was like, Run Our Stump. That's such a good one, too. It's just a fun song. I think I... Hey, that's copyright. Well, Stop it. <laughs> you can ba, 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 I, I don't recall. Ba, 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 da, ba, da. I don't a whole lot of that one. So fine. Bon, chum, bon, chum, bon, chum. A, f- a Fool in the Rain. I didn't realize that Led Zeppelin. It's do, do, one of their last do, songs. Do, do, do. It's, it's do, actually do, a song do, that do, they... Do, do. It doesn't it's, sound like Zeppelin. It's it's a, on a coda. It was released after John Baum had died. Oh. It was their last album. What about ever. Night Ranger and Sister Christian? <laughs> Those are bands? Night yeah. Ranger sings a song called Sister, Sister Christian. Christian something, something, oh, okay. something. Yeah, yeah. That's... Motoring! Hey, you know you're not the <laughs> only one to say. Why are we bringing those up? Okay. What, what are those about? Yeah, motoring. Some... Motorboating? Motoring! Something, something. Life? What's it about? I don't know. 
What's what? your price for flight? Oh, that's your price for flight. And finding Mr. Right. What about You'll Panama? You'll be all right tonight. So what's the what's it about? What about Panama? Recently, I don't know. Recently, I think he's literally days. singing to like a sister that's younger than him, saying like, "You're growing up, and you know." There's boys and fast cars and all this stuff, but <laughs> you can't walk around. Can't you're walk gonna around. pay a price living that life, so just think about what you're doing before <laughs> you're you. You're getting tooled to walk around the house in tank tops. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Put some fucking underwear on for once. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I got spray from. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, Motorist, so, motoring. Are we still talking about songs <laughs> that you don't know the no. it's about? At no, all, I, I can't think of any more off the top of my head. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well, this should be ongoing, right? If you find a fun, song yeah. Yeah. that you know of that, like, oh, wait a second, this is about that, you know? Because yeah, you're probably right about the '80s songs and a lot of anti-war. Oh yeah, well, but I mean, most most churches have anti-war songs, but they're kind of easy to like. I it's easy to see, like you know, punk is obviously it's, you know overtly punk, anti, punk is you know, anti-establishment well, yeah, in true. general. But like, like you know, well, okay, for example, "Fortunate Son" was like the Vietnam anthem. Oh and yeah. it's a song about yep. not being able to. Get out of it because you're poor. I would have never known that. Exactly. You know? yeah. Well, I mean, that's. I mean, I kind of knew because it's in Forrest Gump. Was one of, of course, in, that's how you know everything. You know, Forrest. If it was a, was a Forrest Gump, I don't know. What you're well, about. I mean, that's not the only reason I know yeah, about yeah, it, but yeah. I definitely like loved that soundtrack as a kid. So sorry. It's still a great soundtrack. Yeah, it, it really is. But like my favorite, like my favorite reference to that is. Uh, uh, for some reason, Family Guy did a thing where Quagmire was in Nam. It's like you wouldn't understand it. All it was, all you heard was "Fortunate Son" all day, every day, and no one knew where it came from. And it's just all this like, whatever. I can't remember. Like even in the whorehouses, and it shows like it's like you know, blah, 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 the volume is going up and down. I'm, I'm thinking more like we've been through all kinds of fortunate son. When it used to come in from the side. Uh, hell, fortunate son used to even come up from underneath. He's like the rain, you know. Oh, and oh, and then one day, son. and yeah, then I, I one day, saying. fortunate son just shut off, <laughs> like someone turned the faucet off. The I, sun came out. I honestly don't think I've seen that in the past twenty years. Really? Well, I, don't, I don't think I can handle watching Bubba die again because it fucked me up when I was a kid. Forrest Gump. When Bubba died, when I first saw Forrest Gump, when I was a little kid, that's I mean, why you're I all fucked up. Why? <laughs> I cried for hours about Bubba dying. I cried for hours after Goose died in Top Gun. I, I didn't see Top Gun young enough, I guess. Oh, it was like the first movie I can remember seeing, really. Have you seen the new Captain one? E.T. No, I yeah, haven't. You know, I, yeah. Not yet. Have you seen the new Thor? No. Yeah, you know, I watched Doctor Strange recently. Yeah, you know, I heard it wasn't that good. I didn't even hate it. Yeah, I saw it on just Disney. I just yeah. streamed it. No, it's I watched it on Disney Plus too. It was, I, it was okay. I, it, like, I, there was something... Yeah good there that i feel like got tweaked or whatever like there was just parts with dr strange and Bad like editing oh first of all <laughs> bruce campbell yeah that was hilarious too i was like it's Sam that Brady fucking blew it. my mind when i saw bruce campbell in fucking an mcu movie uh, who who is the guy He's, from evil dead yeah okay. what, what did he do he's a hot dog he, he, yeah he was just like a street he, vendor he's an asshole and then, That's but, but Doctor Strange puts a fucking hex on him or something. <laughs> and he, he like has to attack himself. So he's doing like his Bruce Campbell stick from Evil Dead, where like stick, stick, where his like arm is attacking and, him, yeah. kind of, you know. Just now, because it was directed by Sam Raimi. If you caught that or not, that's why he's in the movie. Who's the director from Evil Dead? So like Bruce Campbell and him have a perfect. And there was just like some Sam Raimi's to like, and, and the Sam. Deadites. At the end or whatever dude, that like the, attached yeah, itself. That was fucking sick. Dude, like, also, oh. well, even like the beginning of the movie, it's like oh, it's, I, I was told, I heard, was, you know, I knew the same movie. But then when you like think about it, you go, "Holy shit!" I'm just watching the camera and cinematography from Evil Dead on a yes. billion dollar movie. Because yes. there's a part where they get trapped and like they're doing the sideways camera thing. Even and it's hilarious. Even oh, that was great. When Wanda's uh, dream walking or whatever yeah. she's doing, like it kind of does that, like yeah. it's coming in from the woods thing or whatever, yeah. which was dope. Like. Probably one of the best cinematography in a, in an MCU movie. Most, Even though that's the most unique, just because it was a unique. callback to. Un, I will give you that. You know, can't be movies. Yes, but like, just can you tell different. he was doing claymation back in the day? Um, I don't remember, I remember claymation at all. No, there was definitely there was Army of Darkness. Yeah, all claymation, not all. No, but stop was motion. claymation. Stop motion. stop motion. Yes, there's stop. Yeah, there's claymation. Clothes, obviously, yeah. Um, but there, what's, that's what's what I'm saying. saying. You can kind of fill that before, with the deadites that he had. What do you got to say before you pick up the book? What do you got to say? What? Oh, fuck, I don't what do you guys say before you pick up the <laughs> He fucking forgets every time. And uh, Klaatu Verata Niktu. But then he fucks it up. <laughs> yeah, something <laughs> like that. And he just grabs it. 
I haven't watched Army of Darkness in a while, but it is probably the, my Ooh. favorite Sam Raimi movie. Ooh. But either yeah. way, sorry, okay. I, uh, I, I sorry about that movie, but go ahead. I just didn't hate. It. I felt like it was a Disneyfied Sam Raimi take on a super darker hero. than I was expecting. Yeah, dude. Like, more graphic I, so than I, was I had expecting. been spoiled about the um, Illuminati. Yeah. You know, I knew that those characters oh, were going to sure. be in it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. And then they happen. I was like, oh, Ew. oh yeah, no, like I had seen that all over the internet. Right, okay. Like I was, I mean, Xavier was in the trailer, but um, hmm. but then I, like how it went trailer. down, how they like fought her, and she that just was, like, fucks them up. That was kind of like, how honestly, is he gonna stream without a dude? Mouth? I was not expecting that. Was very dude. graphic. That was that was honestly, I was like Disney. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Like that's what like I have to commend There's, that movie for that alone. That's the like, fo- that's the fox creep. And then, then like fucking Cranick or John Cranick is his name, right? Just like flail apart, like John the fucking uh, Mister Fantastic. His name was not John Cranick. What's his name? Shut up, <laughs> Mister Fantastic. Not John. The, a- the actor. John Krasinski. Krasinski. Oh, okay. I was really curious there. Yeah, that was fucked up. I liked him being... I'm like, I want to see more of that. He, he did get a job. Yeah, yeah. I think, And I think that was like... His, well, John Krasinski has... Fans like have been very talking good, about that for a while, I feel like. He has a very good concerned face. John Krasinski has a very good concerned face. Just, just like... Yeah, facial I'm, acting. I'm smart. I know what's going on. Well, the facial acting, like, just like even from like, you know, Quiet Place, you know, was very... You know, like... Anyway, John Krasinski, he, he, could, he does good looking at camera face. And there was also... Like, Wanda was fucking just creepy as fuck. Like, she came out of the, like, gong. Just, yeah. like, fucking, like, looked like she, like, yeah. didn't have any fucking Super bones evil or whatever. Yeah, very she was cool. I, like, I liked it. Like, there was, there did, was did things. Did anybody get stabbed with a pencil? John Krasinski? Stabbed did, with a pencil? Did anybody get stabbed with a pencil in that movie? Because that would have been fucking fantastic. No. No Damn, one got stabbed with a pencil. But well, also well, it was Wong, great. Wong stabbed the guy from the cliff, you know, the, the monster thing. Maybe that's the closest they could get to oh, getting yeah, stabbed with the ankle with right. pencil. Yeah, yeah. I kind of remember that. That was, that was kind of weird. Like, I like those dudes. Those dudes were cool as shit, and they did nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Like, I liked her little fortress or whatever they found. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a good movie. It was better than what everything else I've seen besides Spider-Man was last year, you know? It was yeah. better than Wanda, or not Wanda. WandaVision. Well, WandaVision, yeah. It was yeah, better than all the two shows. It was better than the Black Widow and Shang-Chi. I, didn't, I uh... couldn't, I, dude, I started Eternals, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Oh, dude, like, dude, I this fell asleep. This is ugly. I do not want to watch. I had this. to. I had to restart because I kept falling asleep. Is I've that's what I've heard. The whole thing this. it has the same color palette. Just yeah. like drab. It's also the entire so time. So slow. Yeah, I'm not. Well, doing the big that. issue with it what came out was that there's a gay kiss or something like that. It was like, God damn it! I, the, same the, yeah. the same with Lightyear. The same with Lightyear. Are you guys still talking over? about Doctor Strange? Uh, no, well, did, multiple Disney. multiple Marvel movies but, now at this know, point. The whole Eternals don't. Got review bombed and boycotted because there was a a, a dude like goes oh, I I love you I'll see you when I can it was like boop that's it nothing even even have you seen the Buzz Lightyear kiss it's so fucking no. like throwaway it's so throwaway well, it's the same with, it's the same as the Star Wars one right yeah it's but it's they insane. cut it out in different countries yeah. I, I I just saw something about movies are starting to stand to China. I think I just saw something about that. I didn't read the article. But I saw the headline. I go, cool. Uh, I don't care. I'm not in China. Well, I think that's what happened with Lightyear. Lightyear, uh, didn't, yeah, yeah. Lightyear didn't want to cut it out. Yeah. And oh, that's okay. why okay. it wasn't well, released out well, there anyway, or something. But Eternals, like, so I'm sick of thinking, you know, got review bombed because of this and you know, just bigotry and whatever. No, but I, I watch and I go, God damn, this sucks. It's just a terrible movie. <laughs> it's just bad. I think that's it. Well, the thing is, the whole thing was a setup. Which I, movie? Ninja, Ninja Turtles? Turtles. Eternals. 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 You They're think like... I'd be talking bad about Ninja Turtles? Come on now. They can do no wrong. Did I say meow? I still have no idea what said, what you said that if it wasn't Turtles. E- e- Eternals. 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 Marvel's okay. Eternals. They're like some weird fucking god super. Yeah, it's, it's honestly, stupid because like, they can't. They're not good. They're not. It was just a bad story. I can't. I don't understand why Marvel didn't end after Endgame. Like, give money. Give, Yes, but like, Dumbass. give Get it the man his money. Give it three years and just like reset everything. Or maybe they're you don't what, have the girl. We know you never did. Maybe that's what so, they're going towards with the multiverse. They're going to reset it at the end. You know, yeah. that's what I'm hoping. I guess somehow, yeah. but like, like hell, hell like, I'm what? kind of I'm I haven't watched the Miss Marvel at all. Neither have I. And I, I, I don't getting, think I'm going to. I'm I not going to watch I, She Hulk. I, I didn't. Wa- I forgot that was out. I never. Watched it's not the, yet. I, I, I think that comes Hawkeye. out. Do you watch Hawkeye? Yeah, and I, and I think that was everybody that was at work done was for me. flipping was, out about it. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. It was terrible. They've all been terrible. I don't. Know, I just 
I've always enjoyed watching the movies. I never got into it to the point where I was like, oh, and this one, like, and this, and that's how they all get together. Like, I don't care. I just watched the movie. Yeah. But yeah. there are a lot, and there have been more frequently happening. Just shit. Damn. Watermelon punch? Damn. This is Gareth the Dildo in my head. Where did you... Uh... I have no idea where I got those from. No, <laughs> you do not. Some some lady was over here, and you brought those for her, or she brought them oh, over. Oh, lucky me. What happened, Derek? Well, <laughs> did you give I had a couple drinks, punch? and then yada, yada, yada. <laughs> I'm really tired. Seinfeld. Today. Did you give her the, the I'm really tired punch? today. Did Dude, you give... Sorry. Did you give her the watermelon punch? I gave her uh, a donkey punch. I can't imagine actually doing that to somebody. <laughs> actually, we we did the we we did a role play. We we did a Christmas in July, so I gave her a Yuletide log. Hey, when you shit on her, <laughs> Stanley so Steamer. Some pork roll over here, just shit on her chest. <laughs> wow, because I squeeze out of Stanley Steamer on her <laughs> chest. <laughs> One, two, three, four, six, 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 six. <laughs> Uh, literally last week, you mentioned the moops, the and then the moops. the moops. Oh fuck the, the moors! It was the moors. And then literally, I go, I go home over to Emily's, and that episode's on. Fucking Bubble Boy episode is playing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I couldn't fucking believe it. I love how you only see his hands. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a fucking TV show. They can afford that shit. That's funny. Whew. So Derek, sure, a girl over watermelon punch. Jack Daniels. That's so weird. Jack Daniels, it's just malt liquor. Yeah. Whatever happened to Lime Marinas? Remember those? I like one of those. Can I have one of those? Yeah. Yeah. That's Jack. Remember Lime Marina? What happened to those? Lime Marina. It's twist off, nerd. Is it? It's Jack Daniels bottled. Yeah, I don't know. Any, any like smearing off kind of little. Uh, wine cooler, I guess, is twist off, isn't it, for the ladies? I've never had a wine cooler. I don't know. Oh, good. Now the dog's going to eat it, you piece of no, shit. No, she won't. She's not dumb. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, stop her. Block her out. I got it. You've never had a wine cooler. I don't think so. What's have a you, wine? Isn't a wine? That's a wine spritzer. No, I have lots I, of wine spritzers. Have you had a uh, Smirnoff? Yeah. Okay, I kind of think that's a wine cooler. I thought a wine Have oh, you had a Zima? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay, there you go. That's a wine cooler. I eh, feel like bullshit. wine coolers are like no. the the no, seltzer. The no, wine coolers are like the cooler. seltzer of the eighties or something, nineties probably. Yeah. Really? Well, because it's a wine cooler and a wine spritzer the same thing. Because a wine spritzer is just wine and sprite. Yeah, I think that's a mixed drink or cocktail. Yeah, but it tastes like a Jolly Rancher. Yeah, it's pretty fucking intense. Jesus. Woo! Country cocktails. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> no one's making that in the country. You come over, you, you'll get road hauled if you someone shows up to a party and you're serving this, calling it country cocktail. And Skylar, that's a road hauling. Hey man, I believe we sell you beer. Get your ass kicked for doing that. We sell beer in Skylar just the same as you sell beer in Omaha. Except beer in Skylar don't got dicks in it. Except we just bought like old Milwaukee because it was thirteen dollars for a thirty pack. Holy shit! That's you shouldn't drink that. Oh my god! I thought Mountain Crest was bad. No, that's what we could afford in high school. For a fucking thirty pack? Yeah. Stop doing that. Stop doing what? That. The audio is picking it up. That. Stop doing that. I I don't know what you're talking about. You have to specify what I'm doing for me to stop doing it. Damn it! You're playing quarters with fucking. Caps from the Jack Daniels thing. I'm surprised that Jack Daniels you guys, is crazy. Looking. So what, what? Did you drink beer in high school? <sighs> nah. No. Well, no. Derek, did, did you drink, drink beer in high school? Did you drink beer in high school? Yeah. I okay, I'm not gonna beer, ask. You, I was in... Okay, I'm not gonna ask how you procured said beer. I'm gonna ask. A what, stole it? What kind of beer was it though? Any beer I can get my hands yeah, on. Okay, you can get okay. your hands Before on. we talked about the first time getting drunk, what's the first beer you ever had? Bushlight. Uh, uh, probably no something like that. I would say, Excuse me. Uh, the the first, first, no doubt. Taking sips off your dad's beer. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm talk, I, I just said the first I think my first beer, beer ever was, I, I think, a Budweiser okay. bottle. Without, no. without getting caught, let's put it that way. Like, Room temperature Budweiser oh, bottle oh, beer. Jesus. Gross. gross. It was stolen from the back of a gas station. Might as well drink some Plain Label. Maybe I did. 
plan. What's your first plan? Well, that says it says beer on it. Bush Light for sure. That's what we. That's what the um, country people drank, and that's what I stole from the fridge. I had the first time I had beer. I drank four. Colt 45s and well no zigzags because they'd have so, a, oh I'm talking it's, about it's, that the meth guy with the three fingers that guy it's different though what? The, the first time I drank yeah, a beer versus the first time I got drunk well that's my well I mean that's the same thing for me so, the first so time for me the beer. first time I got drunk was smearing off ice mm. first time I got yep drunk was vodka was Red that? Bulls first oh, time I got God. wasted was more things that I can count there's just bottles getting passed around left and right. I do remember drinking quite heavily off of, uh, God, was it Rumple Mints? Oh, or what, what was man. the one that was like 120 proof and it had like the cinnamon crystals Gold at the bottom? Goldschlager. Goldschlager. Well, no, this has rum- this had crystals at the bottom. Cinnamon not- crystals. Well, Rumble Mints was like that, but that a Goldschlager was no cin- Goldschlager has the gold. It has gold it's also like, cinnamon, yeah. Though, isn't it? It's a schnapps of some <clears> sort. Yeah, it's schnappy. You might be thinking of like some MD twenty twenty or something. Or I don't know. I just pucker. I got fucked. Ooh, up. Pucker. I, I never probably I don't know if it was a fuck. One of the first times I got real fucked up, I was like I blacked out, I puked a bunch, and then my buddy was like, dude, the last time you puked, it was blood. And oh like, Oh shit. Oh, there reminds me of so a lot of Captain the, Morgan that night. There reminds me of you shit on the steps. Uh have you ever done the, that weird? Bring it back. I've never done it. I've never done it since. I've never done it before. But my buddy had twenty oh, first. There was this. I, I don't know what the game was, but you know Edward Forty Hands, right? You know where you tape forty hands. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, I've yeah. played the game once. <clears throat> right. So they gave him a a beer mug, a big ass beer mug, and taped it to his hand. And basically, people would just pour shit into his cup, and he just had to just he was drinking whatever ah, was in there. That sucks. So you, know, I mean, but the thing is, though, it's like. People like me go, oh yeah, have some fucking just Jaeger, Jaeger, Jaeger. It's supposed to be just people putting you know, you know free sips beer. Of beer in there, and then then people get the hard shit out. Anyway, he is fucking fucked. He's at the top of the steps. It was like bungalow style house, so there's nothing. So it's just like the very top of the steps. Did he end up in the hospital? Just, no, surprisingly not. Uh, it's one of those weird houses where like you get the top of the steps and it's like a landing and then three doors, you know. So there's nowhere to go. Now, the doors are locked because it's everybody's people's rooms because it's a you know college house. Mm-hmm. And so he just turns around and goes, guys! And we kind of, in the kitchen, we kind of look up the up the steps. It's just silhouette. And he just falls forward straight, just like st- stiff as a board. Like, you know, falls, just like crumple. He falls forward. As he's falling forward, he throws up. <laughs> so he just so he's like it's like uh-huh. basically a, a, a timber but it's like hey, guy, we just hear guys and then just Bleh. and he was he was blacked out at that point he just yacked out of just reaction yacked into his face the best part was did he throw up so hard it threw his body backwards the, <laughs> the best part was he yacked all the way from the top of the stairs to the bottom landing what didn't hit the steps he goes Boom, 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 boom. He falls on his oh. face. Goes boom, 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 and stops on the steps right, like, on the last step before the pool of vomit. We're like, eh, he ain't going anywhere. And we went back to partying. Wow. In hindsight, he we, he may we may have ki- oh, accidentally killed him if we if he was that fucked if up. He had, if he had fallen on his back, he could have died. Well, well, you think we're all fucked up, too, so we just left him there, not realizing that, oh, he's either got alcohol poisoning or uh, broken everything. Well, it's a good thing that he was on his or stomach, both. though. He was fine on his stomach. And then, well, nice enough, though. Yeah, yeah he's on his stomach and inverted. So, yeah, he's not going to uh, die. But, I mean, sure enough, like a half hour later, we hear, ah! Because <laughs> he went to get up, and I'm just like, he's upside down, he's confused, and he just slams his hand into a bag of oh. a pile of He's like, what the fuck? That's funny. I think it was the same party where my now ex-wife ran to the uh, kitchen, couldn't find the bathroom, and just puked at the floor. <laughs> Jesus. Because yeah. she doesn't know how to drink. How it's many funny. people puked at this party? Quite a few, apparently. It's a, it was a big party. Honestly, if you're watching someone throw up, doesn't it kind of make you want to throw um, up? Yeah, I, I've, there's that reactionary. I mean, family got that very good reaction. I mean, it's like when somebody and yawns and you yawn. That's a, yeah. I, what, CPOP doesn't make me I mean, I feel I'm like empathetic. if you throw up in a crowd of 10 people... One out of ten. If you get pregnant, I'm getting myself pregnant. Someone's going to throw up. Someone's going to get pregnant then, too, because I'm throwing up. <laughs> That's how it works, isn't it? Well, it's not going to yeah, be Yeah, if you baby. ingest enough semen uh, yeah. and puke it back up. It's like, oh, guys, right all these loads aren't sitting right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, this bukkake's not treating my stomach very oh. well. Is that a dozen eggs? <laughs> Oh, I knew I shouldn't have sucked that 50th dick. Blah! <laughs> Pocket oh was sour. God. Just the thought of puking up a fucking Mexican always semen. Get, Mexican like, always makes me sick to the stomach. <laughs> I should have blown that. Knew I should have had that <sighs> semen taco. <laughs> what the hell? That's not, that's gross. That semen martini. <laughs> Ew, not everybody grows here. That's gross. I'm talking about swallowing multiple loads and then throwing oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, a dick. tasteful semen either. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, yeah. I, I'm not, I don't have a cocktail glass full you don't, of cocktail. You don't, you don't drink semen out of the glass is what no, you're no, saying. No, no, I've not done that, no. It's too thick. It's like a catcher bottle. you got to fucking hit the 57 <laughs> sign so it comes out. This is coming from the man named I, Steak Sauce. I'm more, of a, <laughs> I'm more of a tapper on the, on the you know, on the plate. Just Wait, tap, are you tap tapping it? off in there? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just steak sauce. Why <laughs> tamp on when you can tamp off? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't oh. remember how that became a thing. Tamping off? No, B and I. What? No, tamping? Tamp. Why tamp on when you can tamp off? Yeah. Why tamp off today? We're going to sell tamp I offs. Is the, it was the whole thing. Yeah. So why even have a period? It's not a period. It's a tamp, tamp, is a tamp, tamp off. Is a tamp off just a maxi pad? Because it's on the outside, not the inside? No, it's a tamp off. It's uh, literally a box of nothing. It's <laughs> off. <laughs> it's off the wall. Guarantee it has to be on the box. <laughs> I can take a guaranteed piece of shit. Fucking label it guaranteed. But it's got to be your bowl. I can take a shit in a box. That's, all right, all right. But it's got to be your bowl. Tommy <laughs> Woo. Wingy. All right, I'll fire up the grill. Hey, are we still doing uh, counseling? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Counseling? Well, the, the, yeah, 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 yeah. The who, random who, number yeah, generator. Who's your Reddick? <laughs> who's your Reddick? Yeah, that's what, yeah, Reddick is a counselor, yeah. <laughs> what, what do you need counseling on? Mm. I don't think you ever answered that question. Mm. Beer drinking? I got that pretty under control. Yeah. How the fuck? Did you go back to reddick.com or what? <laughs> what have you created that you're most proud of? Today? What the shit I took yeah, this morning? It's going to be a poop joke. <laughs> <laughs> that, w- that was the random thing you just came upon? Yeah, this is lame. Fucking random. It's a random question generator. Yeah. Let's you try a, a different question. one. You ask a question. I thought you asked that um, you picked America family or something. Why are you gay? Do you remember that? What little guy? thing do you that do, Lane, thing. that you don't think many people notice? Farting elevators. <laughs> the thing that I do that no one notices. Yeah. Ooh. So that's your final answer. Um. I don't know. I mean, that's hard, tough. Because like I. That's tough. <sighs> You know what? I, I, uh, Do you I pick com- your wedgies? You don't think anybody notices? I comb my beard and mustache, and no one notices that I do it. Do you go up to people and say, hey, I noticed you combed your hair today. Check this shit out. No, I don't. Huh. That's... John, do you comb your beard? I'm guessing not. No, he doesn't. Nah, That's too. why he doesn't have a beard. It's not a beard if you don't comb it. Sure. <laughs> That's how that works. Yeah, it is. Honestly. You're, you might be an asshole. I I got my summer beard. You know that's the thing. Some people don't notice that I'm an asshole. Everyone notices <laughs> you're an asshole. Yes. Everyone. Yes. Everyone. Everyone. You know what though? The ladies like assholes. And dick. But sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they need a dick to fuck that asshole. What the fuck, dude? Calm down. No, this is fucking Team America. Yeah. Oh. Pussies. I think he's saying dicks and pussies. I think he's saying kiss me, kiss me. <laughs> Smart ass motherfucker. Come on, come on, do it, do it. Do it do Smart it. ass motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. What's the worst accident you ever had? We already yeah, heard John's earlier. Pants. <laughs> That's the worst accident. I can't really see anymore. I've, I've never I, shit myself. I like have that. a scar like that big. It, I see it. I held, see. I see the yeah, flexion. This was twenty five years ago, so it was. It's still there. Yeah, but it used to be from shitting your pants. You shit out your. I knee? shit my pants so hard I cut the muscle down to the bone. Ah, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I tore my fucking meniscus. Oh, it hurt. I also think it was 
Probably because I was... I Meniscus used to, is the, the medical term for taint, right? Cartilage between your knee cap oh, and different one. femur or whatever. But yeah. uh, I think it was also because I used to like, ride my bike a lot and fall on my knees all the time. Like I just remember having just skin, just landing knee first. skin knees constantly. I don't want to hurt my hands. I'll go knee first. Yeah, every, every fucking summer I just remember having skin knees. Like, I always, always go balls deep. Always shit. <laughs> why, go, why just dip your balls in when you can go balls deep? That's funny. I you not know, mentioned it. I mentioned. It. I guess I haven't seen. I don't know, I guess I'm not like around a lot of kids a lot, but I remember growing up, everybody had skin knees, and now like no kids have skin knees. Yeah, because they don't. They yeah, don't instead they have tumble. like early arthritis they in their thumbs. Yeah. Carpal tunnel. Oh shit. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've heard that the humans are naturally like, getting a neck spur on their neck because they're looking down at their phones all the time, uh-huh. and it's more prominent. In the younger generation wow. or whatever. Well, it makes sense, though, when you, you know, yeah. sleep on the couch like you, oh, so, hey, how'd the so, chiropractor So you need a little extra Good. little bone back there or whatever. You went to a chiropractor? Yeah, we talked about this. Well, yeah, we said, and like, I think your response was, yeah, good luck seeing a real fucking doctor or something like that. Good luck, or welcome to waste your money or welcome to something. You said some real country. We, well. <laughs> my neck's a hell of a lot better. Am I, have been, am I not on brand? sleeping for the first time in like over a month. Well, there you go. Okay, but so... So I guess you're the asshole. No, I'm not, because chiropractors uh, are definitely assholes. Someday somebody's going to make you want to turn around and say, say goodbye. goodbye. Still the lane. Goodbye. <laughs> but no, I, I chiropractors are no, a fucking rip. Hundred percent. Uh, no, outdoor chiropractor great. for years. Uh, I feel like because my back. Yeah, you know, my back. Problem. They can be helpful. They have. Yeah, but uses the, like in therapy, and just cracking in general. But like, bullshit though. If like, it's something that you rely on, like every month I go to the chiropractor for the rest of my life. Yeah, because they're because they're, they're, they're fixing a symptom, not the problem. Which the problem is muscle, yeah. muscle, yeah, yeah, yeah mus- muscular development, and muscular musculature is not where it needs to be to support what they're doing. So, so like like back problems. Like say you have an upper back problem. I mean, I mean, guarantee you. I mean, this is how it's fixed. It's you because go to of your gym, tits, right? What titties? Oh, my tits. That's most uh, women uh, have yeah, upper back you, problem because they, of their you tits. You say you have a back problem. Okay. Anybody. Like a uh, trucker's back is a real thing. Yeah, yeah. Because you drive with your hands out, like you know. Yeah, yeah. So your upper back gets, gets, you know, it hurts a lot. Well, it's because it, it's not supported enough. So when you have back problems, literally go to the gym and do back, you know, pull exercises and lat exercises and, and delt exercises and, and uh, uh, lats, traps, delts, you know. Dr. John shit, right? over here. Because that, that's how you fix your back problems. That's how I fix my back problems. You can visit is, is by working it out. Stretching. Dodge. Yes, because. Physical like, therapy. I, I mean, you shit. literally, what you literally do is like, you go to the, to the, uh, you know, uh, a, a, a rope or a cable machine and get on one knee and then you take it and you pull it back down towards your chest and like literally that's the one exercise that will start strengthening your okay, mid-back, yeah, yeah. mid-upper back and that's that will reduce all your back pain guaranteed. I've done it. I have a lot of friends done it. My, my buddy Randy who's the photographer for, photographer for Five Finger Death Punch it's hard to say. He has severe back problems when I met him and we started going to the, you know, go to the gym start doing exercise and then Hey, surprise, surprise, it all fucking went away because your back's made out of muscle, not pudding. Well, you it's because you're also, like, actually doing the right proper exercises yeah. probably, too, you know, where, yeah. like, so, you're getting yeah. exercise in, the so muscles are building up or whatever. So chiropractors can... There is a there is a, a, a benefit to, you know, correcting something that... But the thing is, like, unless you take action, it's not going to be a perfect fix. That is, is true. That is very treatment. true. Uh, I went to chiropractor for a long time, for about a year and a half, I'd say... Uh, Three times a week because of my sciatic nerve that got pinched. And I didn't know any better. So I started going to this guy. And we had an x-ray and my like right, my hip is like tilted or something like that by like like 14 millimeters or so. Some pretty decently sized. That's a lot. That's a lot, yeah. Uh, and we started working on the, you know, doing the chiropractor stuff. And about a year later, I go, hey, it's been a year can we start can we take some x-rays and they got fucking weird they got real defensive started trying to you know oh how about this how about this how about this you know other things I'm like like you wanted to see improvement yes i wanted to see a measurable result after three times a fucking week for a fucking year or so three times a week three times a for week, yeah. a year yeah and I, and, and, and which didn't Any solve happy my endings? problems no it was some kind of like weird like no wonder it wasn't a measurable result there you go yeah. uh, but you know it's just like all this shit like 
Coke bottles, I'd go there. Like when I hurt my, my like aggravate the nerve, I'd go there and they'd do a bunch of shit which never helped because they didn't know what they were doing. That's why I was going to go to UNMC. They go, ah, yeah, here's your problem. And fix it in 20 fucking minutes. Uh, Second opinions, man. You know, Second but the opinions. Point, the point is chiropractic stuff, if like, you know, you're all like bunched up, they can really, you know, loot, they can, they can break it loose. I guess you could say. Yeah. But it's yeah. up to yeah. you for good habits and, and fitness. Agreed. Because, you know, there are some, uh, you know, the chiropractor they're talking about, at the place I went, you know, the very important things of you look at your phone, you know, don't, you know. Yeah, it's a disperse. The littlest thing of just hold your phone up, like under your other hand, you know, like stuff like that, will greatly increase your neck health. For sure. Uh, but then you do, I do, I've done a lot of chiropractic um, conventions or, you know, seminars or whatever. Yeah, they start talking about doing chiropractic on babies and dogs and, you know, curing allergies and cancer. I'm like, all right, uh, let's fucking just dial I it mean, back, all right? Is it, the thing with chiropractor is they kind of skirt the line of acupuncture, too, you know? Yeah, well, well, and there's, very, like, there, well, is a, there is a science to acupuncture. Yeah. Like it's chakras and shit, I you mean, know? Like, you well, know, there's no science backing that. Well, but, I, but the there point, is yeah. a method to it. There is data. Like, I'm sure, sure, there's measurable results, sure. Yeah. But when then you go, oh, I can cure your kid's ADD by cracking his back. It's like, all right, dude. That's when you like but there's a pro- stop going because, to that chiropractor immediately. Yeah, well, yeah. But there's a lot of so, issues with chiropractors of, you know, what, you know what? You don't have to be an actual doctor to be a chiropractor. You can go to like two years of school and be a chiropractor. Yeah, for sure. There's, but they, they, they're they technically a doctor. And then and that, you know, give, you know, give them the rope thing as a cowboy. You know, give them to take a mile. So they 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 have that doctor in the name, and they start saying this outlandish horse shit with nothing to prove it except the DVD that you can buy for twenty bucks. Hmm. You know, it's crazy. This is about it. So Derek, are you going back to your chiropractor? I've had two sessions, and what he told me was like, you know, it's just uh, I gotta get a foam roller and I just do some exercises on that. And if you have any problems, let me know because if you've been getting better every day after each session, uh, he was. He, Maybe you might want to come once a month, but it's just like, you know, if you do your exercise, I think you'd be okay. Yeah. Well, that sounds like, that sounds like an actual good that physical legitimate. therapist. That sounds, that sounds like a fa- physical therapist. Yeah. Someone that, like, knows the way the body is supposed to work. with all the UNL athletes and, oh. and some other schools around here, too, but... Sure, okay, nice. Yeah, but he's he's not trying to just crack your back that, that does every sound other more, month more or, of a or once a month. physical therapy you know? than a chiropractor. Does it, does it say chiropractor on his door? Uh, uh, I think so. I don't recall off the top of my head. Hmm. All right. Huh. Anything, anything else we need to talk about tonight before we uh, wrap this shit up? Don't be a fool. Wrap your tool. Hmm. What kind of tool you got working with? Jackhammer. <clears throat> well done. Bulldozer. Steak sauce. <clears throat> You're Pencil seen, sharpener. You ever seen an A1 bottle? Yeah, look at the, the neck. That's what we're going to do. Just the cap. <laughs> it's like an acorn head. <laughs> they call me Thimble. Well, this is uh, Steak Sauce Thimble and uh, Godzilla checking out. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you. I love you, but Godzilla. fuck off. <laughs>